Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from Ready Cube Games and Toplets Productions. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday fun day as we check in with you and see what's a hopping hot stuff in your world. Um, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> we're not going to get shot by iron uh, iron crossbows with copper crossbow bolts this episode that would that would be bad that uh that gave us a little bit of issue last time yeah yeah so for all the glory we had the previous episode <laughs> last time i'm like all right let me demonstrate to you how to take care of the highwaymen over by the triple waterfall and well yeah like uh <clears throat> Neo, Keanu Reeves' character, says in The Matrix 2, and when he notices Agent Smith is a little bit better, he said, upgrades, <laughs> kind of inquisitively. <laughs> and that seems to be what happened, is they got upgrades, because they went from wooden crossbows and wooden crossbow bolts to iron crossbows with copper bolts. So, yeah. Oh, and they were carrying... Uh, Iron zombie killing beat him over the head uh, spike cudgels too. So yeah, that uh, that got interesting real quick, and it took us about three attempts to figure that out. Okay, cool. We're in picture mode here. Isn't that cool? Love the look of this village. I I put a post up on. I don't want to make a whole lot of it on this because this is about medieval dynasty now available on Steam from Rendercube Games and Topless Production. In case I missed that, hope you'll enjoy the show. Give us a like, share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about medieval dynasty. And uh, subscribe for more great content coming soon. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video, hopefully. And finally, uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can just give us a like, put something in the comments below, ask me a question. I'm happy to go so far as to even make a map or video or some kind of gra infographic to help you with your gameplay. Furthermore, uh, if uh, you'd like to make a donation to help support the channel, there is a link to our um, PayPal down yonder in the um comments or description so check that out we appreciate you all right let's take a look here at what we want to do farming wise because farming is mission is mission is time sensitive mission critical Neslawa should have her baby next season i think at worst she will be spring frida just uh showed up just tested positive for pregnancy this season so that's autumn so i don't know if it'll be spring summer and the next autumn or it'll be next summer unfortunately i think they're going to be a season apart so that means we're going to lose two people out of our workforce um now we did bring in uh bogdana as our seamstress she took over for naislawa who obviously was a seamstress <laughs> yeah she can stitch. She can stitch a thing or two. You got something torn up, she fix it. If there's a problem, yo, she'll solve it. Check out the needle on they Slawa sews it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, that gets her. She's doing some uh, herbalist stuff and making us potions right now. Get a stockpile on that. Uh, and Bogdana has taken over as a seamstress. Okay. And if you've missed the memo on this, I'm doing this a little different. We're, we're playing the Valley. This is the 2.0 version of the game currently only available on Steam for uh, PC players. It is in the works for everyone else. Okay? Don't fret. It's coming. They said Q1, Q2, 2024. All right? We're not a month into... We're not even two weeks into Q2. So they still got time. They got two and a half months. All right? They're getting it ready for everyone else. We've effectively been playtesting the crap out of with multiplayer stuff. And that's a lot to figure out. Especially when they integrate a new map into the game. Uh, and we haven't done multiplayer here on the Valley yet. So, uh, I don't know. I maybe would have done multiplayer first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I going to... Let me see if I can... Just a second. Okay, I think it passed. Did it pass? I have to sneeze. All right. Hopefully it's... It, it, didn't okay anyway uh so we're gonna be shifting a little bit of stuff around but basically what the story is is rasimir 
excuse me, that's our character, of course. Uh, you know, we are a stranger from a strange land as we come to the valley uh, to escape the uh, war that has consumed our homeland. Our parents are dead. We were looking for our Uncle Jordan. But the valley is our family's uh, rally point. In the valley, uh, so we found, uh, we found us a wife, and then we found our cousin Nace Lawa and her older brother Swibor, uh, and Radamilla and Swibor uh, got together, and they've had a baby. That's uh, Grimilda. And then you've got, uh, we found our cousin Sulagost and uh, uh, a family, a couple that's a fam we're family, close family friends, Miroslaw and Frida. Of course, Frida's now pregnant. And then we uh, found uh, Tomil, who is uh, now married to Neslawa and brought him into the fold. Uh, and then we've got Ostrobod and Chislawa. Chiwali, Chiwali Slawa. Whatever. Sorry to keep track of some of these names. And uh, there are a couple. And then we've got um, Swibor. Oh, he's hooked up with Radamilla. So, uh, okay, I gotta write the lady's name. Iwalda. I need to take the Siegfried off of here. Iwalda. She's 31. And she's hooked up with Sulagost, who's 27. All right. The name changed on me. And I, I just hadn't bothered to write it down. So she now is a 321313. And she's a craftsman. And she could work a market, and then she can also do extraction work. So she got she's got similar skills to our wife Agnes, um, who is also working craftsman work right now. All right, so there now I've got that written down. Hooray! I need to actually just kind of update this list. Oh look, I got clean space on my paper. I could do that, but I'll do that another time. All right, so we are on the final day of, uh, we're doing three-day seasons, all right? And that's our family. Has, basically, this is the size of our village, all right? We were just looking to get everybody together and get everybody squared away. Now, somebody has a quest. <sighs> hmm. We need to also, before we take that, because we may get lucky, I may have something just in storage, and that's a bada-bing, bada-boom situation. Um management and let's see where we're at okay so here's our fields and we want to make sure everything is as squared away before winter as possible uh then maybe we can get uh frida working in the barn for us um so field one is our primary flax field it's fertilized and ready to go for the next season field two is uh sown with um rye so that will harvest in the spring uh Field three is beetroot, and that one has been cleared. I cleared that last episode. Um, that will need to be refertilized and tilled for next season. Field four is the small field, and that one's are uh, planted with rye. That will harvest in the spring. Field five is a split field that we plant wheat, and then uh, it looks like she's in the process. It's been tilled, it's been fertilized, and she's in the process of tilling it now. Uh, we could do that. And then six, it looks like we're going ahead and prepping for fertilizer. Um, and that we could probably handle ourselves too. So let's, ah, nope, nope, nope. Okay, so nothing too critical. The key is to make sure we've got everything planted and if, the, if we're going to do winter wheat. That's ultimately my question, and I didn't even answer it. So... This is, ah, is that wheat? I think that's wheat. That is wheat. This is what confuses me because you have the two big ones that are split grain and that's wheat. And then you have the two smaller ones that split wheat that are rye. And for some reason, I've just never memorized this over time. And uh, so got to figure that out. So that is set up for winter wheat. And then what we're going to do is reset the field for flax in the spring. 
okay? So we just do that, then we hit this, and then we hit this, and we accept the changes, okay? So she'll continue the fertilization process, um, but actually I'm gonna grab a hoe and go over there and knock that out, and then we'll look at this quest. I basically don't plan on leaving the village uh, this season, unless we need to go sell something, I don't think we need to. So, we, we goofed around a couple of days. The, the village is in pretty good working order. Uh, when we just ran across that field. Okay, so yeah, this field here. All right, so let me get this caught up here. This is going to make her life easier. This field will be just need to be planted. And that's the only thing that has to be done this season is get the winter wheat in, on, in the ground. And then the fertilizing and hoeing of other fields can be done during winter. I mean, in theory, it could be done during spring. But during spring, we're going to actually have crops to harvest and stuff to process. So, Hopefully we'll get another load of manure out of our uh, dealio, yo. That and that, good. All right, this field's set. And here she's coming right now. You're welcome. Our king will go down in history. I agree. Um, shoot, think. What were you about to do? I think we still have a chicken to name. Do we not have chickens? We have, ooh. <gasps> uh, we got a bunch more chicks. Uh, I don't want more male chicks, so I'm going to just sell them. I don't want to deal with them. We don't need more roosters. We've already got too, too many roosters. Okay. So we're going to need to come up with a couple of female chick names. These are based on uh, singers slash rock stars, you know, whatever. Musician types. Okay, so we need two females. So find some female names of, you know, rock stars or musician types. And then you got to find a way to spin it till it has something to do with chickens. Like Janice Joplin or Chick Jagger, or Grace Chick. That chick is the easiest thing. Stevie Chicks, uh, Chikira, Grace Chick, Chick Jagger, you know. And then you got eggs. Eggie Van Halen, Egga Fitzgerald, uh, Gloria Egg Stefan. And then you got hens, which really should only apply to females. So you got Pat Hennitar, Chester Hennington, which actually I think she may have been saying that that's actually his last name. Hen Stefani uh, and Janice Joplin, 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 which I actually just, it screws you up, but really you just say Joplin, right? <laughs> and it almost makes the, uh, the H silent. Um, yeah, and then Simon LeBoc was a fun one. A Simon LeBon from Duran Duran. So, yeah. We gotta come up with a couple names for them. Autumn is typically in charge of that, but I hope she's doing okay. She's been kind of absent lately, and we're missing her. Let's see. What else? Is there anything else we need to fix? We need to correct? We need to check? Let me just check here. So, what I'm looking for is out here at the right, okay? Um, there's one, it, what this, this is indicating is if you've got this list closed, okay, there's something wrong, air quotes wrong, in that category, okay? In this case, <coughs> excuse me, there's that sneeze. Um, it's saying there's something wrong, but technically there's not anything wrong. Is this list means there's no assignments, and you don't need assignments if there's nobody assigned, Right? Otherwise, if you had assignments and there was nobody assigned, there'd be a little person icon here. Okay. Well, no one's assigned to the well. That's easy enough to do yourself. So handle that yourself. It'll save a lot of time. Now, if you need a position to put somebody who's new, who comes along, then that that's, I mean, just temporarily because you just found them in a village and, okay, you've assigned them to a home and uh, all that stuff. Um, it's good if you... Excuse me. Um, go ahead and get them put in the house. So you just recruited them. And I did a video on this. It's on the uh, videos. And in fact, it's on 
from my page, recruiting new workers uh, or new villagers. You recruit them and then immediately assign them to a house. So make sure you've always got an empty house available so you can put them in, okay? And you want to make sure, you know, there's nothing here. Now, see, we've got a couple of three, the three, that's the ones that have a man, a woman, and a baby. You cannot put two men in a house. You cannot put two women in a house, okay? Um, initially, you want to put them in a house single. After a couple of three years, then they may uh, may get hooked up, okay? This will show that there's uh, people there. I don't know how you can assign a tenant. I don't know how that works. That's where the kid winds up is in that third bed or second bed excuse me um now whoop if we go here and we look at uh, agnes will show that she's married to us husband son okay so bogdana is new okay she's in simple small house two of three and well we don't want to take her out of that but she's in the house with sobibor our br older brother okay and they are in house what is that well, shoot, I don't have the houses numbered. That's okay. Anyway, but you'll see these folks, once they've lived together for like a couple of years, they will they will eff effectively be married and then they will have babies. Okay, so that's the key. And then you saw her status up here is pregnant. So that's indicated by this baby bump icon right here. Neslawa, pregnant. Tomil's her husband. Okay. And then here's the kiddos down here. So uh, that helps that. Now, um, we got the field situation squared away. I guess we could check the chickens. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear this out. 87% in the trough. We'll go ahead and top this off. And then we'll go see who's got what issue with the quest. Last episode, I mean, that's a lot of... Uh, wait. Damn. I didn't think this through. Not a big deal. I think that, that one's 90% full. Uh, hello, Robin. Tanya Clucker. Oh. Look at you. Look at you. Hello, Lee. Welcome aboard. Dolly Part Hen. Hang on. Those are good. I like I like the oh oh we got a production issue. All right, I just screwed up taking the stuff out of that nest, which technically that's the rooster's nest. <laughs> so uh, I think we're gonna wait until next season to collect stuff because if we collect now, I'm I have to carry the eggs over and sell them to get a hundred percent value out of them, which is not a lot of value anyway. Good God, y'all are noisy. Let me get away from there. So we got a couple of eggs, and that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Not a big loss. Now, we do have a production issue, and let's just see what that is. And then we'll, we'll El Nemo our people. Uh, or, okay, so there's no issue there. No issue there. No issue there. No issue there. There's an issue here. Workshop 2. So we're missing something. That's missing something. No resources. So you click on this, and it's going to tell you wooden bowls. So what the issue probably is is we're out of logs. Log times 1. There's the issue. Um, so what I th what we can do to correct that is we bump back out and we go to extraction because that's where our woodshed is. Okay. And Swibor is up there cutting down trees and eating his lunch just like his old papa. Now he's making a bunch of planks. Now, without having to whoops, leave where I am. We can go see how many planks we have in storage by just clicking on it, double clicking on it, click on the trunk. We'll scroll down the planks. The only thing, well, we're using planks to make buckets and wooden vials. So I'm going to make sure we're not making too many. Oh, we got 40 planks. Oh, you know what? I need to re-roof my house still, though. So there's a couple things we need to do here. Let's back out of that. Let's go to production and go back to the workshop. So it's saying they're out of logs, so they can't make bowls. It takes a log to make five wooden bowls. Um, wooden vials takes one plank, and a bucket takes two planks. I think we got enough buckets. Let's take that out of play. And what would a torch... You know what? We got tons of leather. Let's make, make Torchy's tacos here. Mmm, Torchy's tacos. 
All right, so let's do that, and that will help clear some steak and some leather, which we've got just literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of in storage out. It won't do a lot for us, but I'm actually going to drop down the number of vials we're making to close to one, so that's 10 per day. We really don't need that many. Let's see if I can get down to 0.5. That's pretty good. We'll make more torches. We can sell torches. Three. Oh, we almost got the. I guess that's going to be close as we get. Okay. So. This being here, this cor this will correct itself. So I don't necessarily have to make a production change. What I do need to do. Well, I don't need to make a production change at, on the end product side. What I need to do is make a production change on the input side. Okay. So logs are the input from the woodshed, and then you have buckets, torches, wood vials, bowls being the output on the receiving end uh, side. So we'll go to the woodshed. Now, we can what we can do is reduce the number of planks we're making per day because we're basically making 10, 11.6 uh, planks per day. We'll cut that down, and then we'll reallocate that manpower and that labor into producing logs. Now, firewood. The question is, how are we doing on firewood? Well, we're getting close to winter, and that's when you have the maximum use of uh, stuffs. Okay, Our demand right now is only 285 per day, and we measure that in BTU, which is, I measure it, I call that basic thermal units. It's technically British thermal units, but, you know, we won the war, so... Um, so in winter, this will jump up to probably 400 plus 400 to 500 range. We just want to make sure we're producing enough to burn some of this amount down. This is what's in storage currently. Okay. And the way this is measured out is it's this number divided by five equals how much firewood we have. Okay. So if we go here to our list of people's demand control and wood items, 273 times 5 is going to equal 1,365. Okay, that's how that works. Turn off sticks, logs, and planks. That way the people won't burn them. You, all you want to worry about is firewood. Sticks are 1 BTU each. Logs are 10 BTU each. Planks are 5 BTU each. But if you turn a log into 4 firewood, that's 20 BTU per log. You tracking what I'm saying here? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Do you understand the word coming out of my mouth? Okay, that's how this works. So, firewood stored times five equals how much BTU and heat production we've got stored. Excuse me. So, I think we can make a little bit of a reduction over here. Not much. I'm just going to change it by a couple a day. And that's just going to be a couple of less logs per day that get turned into firewood. Let's we'll drop it down to like, yeah, 14. And then we're going to jack this number up, okay? And now we're going to we're going to just move on, okay? Eventually, when he cuts down a log, when he cuts down a tree, that icon disappears, okay? That's how that works. All right, we need to drop our hoe. Wait, what? No, I wasn't. No. Wasn't being nasty. Wasn't talking about it anyway. we got to drop these hoes. Let's throw these egg geet in here. Uh, nobody's going to eat them. And then we can throw the feathers back up in here. Now, see, we got the production thing back again. But that's going to clear up again in a minute. He's just got to get ahead on cutting down trees and eating his lunch just like his old papa. Okay, so we're good there. Torchies. I love Torchies tacos. I just don't like that they... They, their app doesn't ha allow for special instructions because I like to get my chips with no salt. And because I'm a veteran, I get a veteran's discount, and it doesn't factor on the app as well. So they won't take phone calls now, and that's douchey as far as I'm concerned. Pick up the damn phone or fix your app so it ha allows more flexibility on orders. Uh, okay. Ah, yes. We have chicken names. 
Robin for the win here. T A W N Y A. Is it T A W N Y A or is it? It's Tanya. Tanya Clucker. And this one is Martina McFride. And I just, I like that. That's hilarious. That really is. <laughs> McFried. Listen, McFried. McFly. Uh, McFried. We may rename Shakira because Shakira sucks. In fact, you know what? Dolly Parton. So we got some names already, including Hen, but that's okay. We're going to change Shakira because it's just kind of... Eh. Dolly Parton. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. We had a lot of chick names. There's a Grace Chick, Chick Jagger, Stevie Chicks. Yeah. Now we got Cluck involved in a couple and McFried. That's hilarious. That really is good. I like that. All right, cool. And for some reason, this stupid, oh, man. I guess my, oh, that's frustrating, my, uh, there's an ad above my chat section, and therefore I can't see the chat, it pushes the chat down, so I can't have the video up and still see the bottom of chat, well, okay, now I can't. Well, I have part of the video up, so that sucks. But whatever. Okay, so, here we go. Yeah, I know, and that's... Ugh. If you'll tell me when a commercial pop... Well, it may be a different time for everybody, so then I might be sitting here on hold. That's a shite deal, too. So, I have to figure that out. And I know I've been saying that for a while. It's just... Life. All right, so... Let's now we can cut that foo foo stuff. Let's do a quick save because we quick save before we take on a mission and we quick quick save before we uh, go into combat. If we're smart, uh -oh. can I help you with something? Wanted to renovate my house. I don't have the ha a building hammer. Sure, I can fix you up. Okay, so easy peasy lemon squeezy. He's a dummy because he actually makes the hammers. <laughs> Well, wait a minute. I, I say that he may want a copper hammer. So let me check the freaking quest. Oh, he needs a wooden hammer. Well, pfft. Uh, what does a wooden hammer consist of? One log and ten steak. You know what? All right, let's just go do this. Let's go find a tree. We'll chop down trees and eat our lunch just like a row, papa. All right, so we need steak. Okay, we pick a few of these up since we got our ass kicked twice. Uh, and let's just mosey up the road here. <laughs> up over yonder. Okay, that's apparent. That's the campsite. Piggy, you're over there. And, all right. So we're going to come up here and we're going to find this nice little maple tree. And we're going to cut this down. This is going to solve, this is going to, don't let the falling tree hit you. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. I should have thought of that before I picked up all the steak, but that's okay. We are going to use, did I get, well, where's the fourth log? Oh, it's over there. All right. So I feel like this should be a campsite right in front of us too. So now we're going to make a hammer and then we're going to go dump these three other logs. You know what? I want to get some reserves. So, um, screw it. We'll do, we'll waste some chops on spruce trees. 
we'll get maybe 10 logs for reserves here. There we go. That'll do. All right. Which, again, gives us more sticks. Steak. More steak. We'll say jalapeno on the steak. So there is a new game I may be checking out here in a couple of weeks, Manor Lords. I'm going to watch some of the pre-issue. Of course, about the time it comes out, um, shoot, what's that other other one uh, that I had? I got the key for and I didn't get it loaded in time? Um, but, oh, what, oh. That's that's the Lumberjack song by Monty Python. Just look that up sometime. It's freaking hilarious. It's a great skit. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. And then there's like some Royal Canadian Mounted Police who sing along and they repeat the line. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. I cut down trees. I skip and jump. I like to press wildflowers. And, and whatever. All right, here you go. Boom. All right, cool. So that, uh, that took care of that. In fact, because I'm a nice guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we unlocked the house. Okay, cool. That's, that's not what we need, but that's okay. Step by step. Heart to heart. Left, right, left. We all go falling down like toy soldiers. I just dropped a little Martika on you. Um, ooh, the Alfredo recipe that sold over 1 million times. What? Chef Jean-Pierre. Whoa. Let me just pull that up and put that in my tabs. <laughs> Videos to watch later today. All right. Um, Manor Lord's hardest survival. Oh my gosh. Whatever, dude. I just want to see the basics. Dang. Layout. Pre oh, I hate when I do this. <laughs> it sucks. Um, all right, let me try this again. Now, I'm not going to look at the screen. I don't want to see what's on the screen. All right. Uh, Monty Python Lumberjack song. There it is. Boom. So let me get the video here, and I will uh, copy the... Okay, so but pause it. I don't want to get freaking flagged. Copy. Wink. And for your viewing pleasure your alfredo is the best what says you all right there you go so there is a link lee that you can open up and you can watch the video uh at your leisure all right so now i've got to move this tab over to the left of that okay i still got a making a japanese uh Tokyo landscape model railroad video to watch and an Elon Musk SpaceX announcement thing and highlights of a pool tournament and <laughs> how to use Microsoft Excel for model railroad switching and operations make the best omelets with tips you wish you knew sooner the Alfredo recipe and then I've got two open YouTube tabs that have videos on I want to watch and there's SpaceX announced Starship upgrades and yeah <laughs> <laughs> then there's all these other videos. So <laughs> when I get done with this, there will be a bunch to watch. <laughs> Says your kids and your friends and Presley. What? Hmm. Okay. That's cool. Um, all right. So now we've done that. We've, we've now unlocked the house. Oh, you know what I need to do? <gasps> oh, this could be trick. Well, it's not that tricky. It's tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Let me see if I've got um, Destructo Man unlocked. Where is that? Master of Destruction. I do. So I will get some materials back. I don't know if it will be enough. So let me grab a couple of these logs. These logs. I think I'll need two. And then I need 24 planks. Cool. And then we're going to whip this hammer out. And we're going to we're gonna do some destructo change-o on our house here. Now, this is going to piss off my wife and kid for a minute, but they'll get over it. So we go to this. All right. 
We're going to do boom, boom, because now they're homeless. Boom, boom. Okay. Now we go right click, build, E, wooden roof. Okay, there's that. We just got to make sure we put the right roof on. We're not doing the we're not doing the top end stuff. We're not doing stone houses like we typically do. That's why this is a little different. Another reason. Oh, son of a bee! I only got one log back out of four. I'm supposed to get fifty percent of the materials back, jerks. Damn it! Of course they screw things up. All right, hang on. Almost there, because God knows my wife will take off, and then I won't have an error, and then <laughs> then the game will then we'll be all screwed up. Uh, log, please. I need one stinking log. One ping only, Vasily. One ping. Okay. Okay, now, we got to go to here. All right, now our happiness is going up, because now she's back in our house. Okay, good. So she and, and Robert now are no longer homeless. All right, that fixed that problem. Sweet. Okay. Oh, there's the kiddo right there. What are you doing, boy? Hello. Hello. It's for you. Oh, he gave me a bullet mushroom. Thank you. What's on your mind? The best thing about chores is that they're never ending. That doesn't sound right. Have a good day. He's cute. Uh, okay, let's get these St. John's Ward out of here because, you know, weeds just laying around. Okay, and we have some straw to get rid of now because that would have come off the straw roof. That master of destruction. You're supposed to get 50% of your building materials back. Well, <laughs> clearly that didn't work out. I can math. And <laughs> you're supposed to get four logs because it takes four logs to build the roof, right? So you should have gotten two, thus taking two. Boom. Okay, so here's our village. Our village kicks ass. Now here's the question. When... At what point? So now we can build the bigger house. Now this house has four beds. But this is a big thing. Why is it a big thing, eh, Train? Well, for one, we can make fancier doors. We can make plank fence, plank gates. We can do double shelves. We can do the large wood planter. planter. We can do the flower hameli and low plank fence. Okay. So those are all cool things we can do. And braced wooden shutters. So we just blew a bunch of money and that's okay. So, all right. So yeah, we just spent a bunch of money, but that's okay. Now, woodshed two is a big deal. It opens a second position, but then we get the decorative wooden shutters, which take iron bars, which is cool. Um, rectangle stone flower pots are cool. Candlesticks are great. And we get the palisade, okay? The problem is we won't get the palisade gate Or do we? Okay, that's just stuff. That's just stuff. The stone fence. The lanterns, that's a big deal too. But that's going to take a lot of work to get to. Because this is technology from extraction and building structures. We basically built our structures. Um, simple plank picket fence and the palisade. Because I will effectively build a palisade around the town, I think. So we got a lot of this stuff, and we botched it. Let's see what we got up here that we can do. Braced wooden shelf. That would be oh, double hanging racks, nice. Roofed gateway, sure. We'll do ah. There's a log gate and log fence. Those are good. Not that we have any logs. Um, straw humility, small wooden planter. We just got the big one. Standing fire bowl, okay. Clay flower pots. Mm, up. These are nice decorations. We do need to make a, I, I guess we could make a bathing setup down by the uh, fishing hut. And we could make a stage. All right, what do we got here? Standing torch, long wooden shelf. That's nice. Wooden fence, wooden gate, log gateway. Closed curtain. Don't want the bat and wooden door. Uh, standing, yep, sure. Hanging rack, split rail fence, cross buck fence, simple log gateway, open curtain. And we got the long... That's just something. Yeah, we just spent like 15,000 coins. You know, boom, confetti. All right, let me see. 
Why? How did Kyle Larson wound up down at freaking 25th? He was leading the race. Oh, Chase Elliott's in third, though. All right, race is going all over Texas Motor Speedway. So, kind of got that on behind me. Uh, anything else we need? Um, oh, privy. And wooden flower pot. Barrels might look good. Chests would be okay. And that, sure. What else? Low steak. Fen now we got all the fences unlocked. All right, cool. All right, let's go over here. No, no, no. Mm, okay, fur rugs we're going to deal with here in a minute. Uh, let's go to the nice ones. Goat fur rug. Here's the sheep fur rug. So we're up to there. Uh, and then we got the trophy. Okay, we've actually got moose heads. And there's tanning racks. That's if you want. This is all stuff to dress out your village. Okay. So it's not stuff you've got to have. Uh, I guess the wizard skull's further down. The wolf fur, fur rug is a good one. Um, it just takes eight fur. That's the problem. Oh, the wizard trophy's way over here. Freaking 5,000. So we can actually get rid of um, any wizard skulls we have. I think we've got a few. The problem is they weigh a bunch. Yeah, we got three of them. That's okay. All right. So we finally got our roof upgraded. That's brilliant. Uh, we got our brother's house is all complete. This, I don't, the next step though is this, sewing hut two, and then pushing on to kitchen two. Because once we get kitchen two, and then we're heading towards the market stall, Kitchen 2 allows us to make cheese and bread. Boom. Boom. Those two things right there. That's what we want. The rest of the stuff, whatever. This is useless. This, I, I guess. But then you got to gather berries. So that's that's a bit, bit of, eh, whatever. Deal with it. Um, there's different benefits to the different breads. And we looked at them from a production standpoint when I did the video on my Oxbow play. So we maybe, maybe we'll go back and revisit them once we unlock Kitchen 2 so that we can see, you know, maybe there's a benefit there. Because like one of these, I can't remember which. If it's the oat roll I had picked up somewhere and it's a plus 30 weight and that's better than a potion of weight. Pos potion of weight's plus 20 kilos. One of these rolls, I don't know if it was oat or rye, was plus 30. Uh, so that was that was pretty, pretty spiffy deal. So anyway, all right. What else do we need to do? What do we need to do? You're dirty. Oh, no, I don't feel dirty. Um, first of all. I feel like extending this path. So we're going to face due south. Now, this new Banner Lords game, Manor Lords, excuse me, not Banner Lords, Manor Lords. That looks about centered, and we'll just go forward until we turn green, and then we'll just walk forward a few more feet. It looks interesting in that you can make curved paths, and then... Um, you can make fields that fit within those curved paths. There's a, a pathing system that snaps. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm like, oh, man, er, lords. Ha! Hey, train, that was funny. <laughs> um, oh, wait, we got one more thing to figure out. I've missed out on doing karaoke a couple times here. And so what we may have to do is set up a stage and do karaoke. This actually may not be a bad spot for it. If we put the stage right here, actually, this would be a good place for our marketplace eventually. Um, so we need to set up a bathing area. I don't want to set it up like right here where you would wind up blocking the view of the water. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not that that may have been a big consideration back in the day, but it is a consideration for me. So I don't want to block the view of the water with the stage. I mean, yes, 
riverside or lakefront um you know concerts it's kind of cool wait a second wait a second that no that wouldn't work would it now there's planks oops so this has planks no 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 way this works no way this works is there any way this works it's placed on water oh that's too far out what well now wait a minute but oh how close can i get it that's close that's really close i don't like the stairs going down that way though uh, now if that's technically water the question then becomes can't be placed on water or can it be placed <gasps> oh snap I need it just a little away from the water. Well, I've got, mm, I've left the, I've left the visibility, but I've also shorted myself space because the, the shoreline gets closer to the path here. Mm, let's, let's rethink this. Uh, destructo. All right, look, I'm gonna grab some stuff here. Let me just grab this. We need to make a bathing area. We could make a swimming area. Uh, clothes washing area. Let's clean all this crap up here. Okay, that cleaned all that crap up. Nice. Looks much nicer now. These rocks. These rocks. These rocks. Hmm. Because I'm thinking it would be super cool to build the stage right here over the edge of the water. I don't know how close we could get here, though. But the problem is I want the stairs like here. But then the rope. Oh, wait, we don't have to build that part. But then we don't have the ability to build anything behind it like a backdrop. You know what I'm saying? So let's do this. Let's build a section of road from here to there and then we just destroy this that takes those stones out of play what did, what what just happened did that just go get dry right there what if what if how close can i get it i can't get it close enough this is the problem See, it's buildable there. That's a really small state. I could D, D, D. This could be a swimming area. But see, and the cool thing about it being a swimming area, because there's a drop off right here, right? Watch. Oof. I mean, we're, I mean, we're that deep in the water, just five feet out, you know, from here, right? It drops off really nicely. Now over here, it runs out a little bit further. But then it still drops off at that point. You see what I'm saying? Which may make this a better place for the, the swimming if I can get it in here. Oh, there. That bit. That gets it pretty close. I don't know if those, um, oh, that answers that question. <laughs> I don't know what the straw is going to do. Well, there you go. Hmm. Hmm.
Oh, geez. Tyler Reddick is running away with this race. Holy crap. NASCAR's going to have to throw a faux caution to slow him down. So this could be a, a stage and a swimming platform. You know what I'm saying? Now, is that, hmm. This could be both. It's not fit. And then we can put benches up here. If we clear out some of these bushes, which we can do. Clear out some of these bushes by doing this. And do that. And then we do this and do that. And then we could put benches up here. And people could just sit here on the edge. I mean, it's not like we have as big a village as we had, you know, before, right? And then it doesn't obstruct the view. It's multi-purpose. And we could set up a like the washing station or the, you know, bathing maybe right over here. And just leave this pier. Four logs and four planks. And see, I would want to put, like, I would do my ramp of planks from the dry land, so hopefully you could just walk up there without, you know, splish splashing, getting your feet wet, which is the only thing that sucks about this. Like, you know, if I could get it really close, like, you can get it really close, and I can't remember. I tried to do it here, but apparently this is not the spot. It's maybe here or here where you can get super close. to the edge and almost not be in the water with the, the stairs. I want the stairs on the land. You see what I'm, are you picking up what I'm putting down here? I want the stairs on the land. Here it's not gonna work, I think, so much. Four logs, four planks. Let's think this through. Let's actually we're going to mock it up. And then we'll see what we got. Yeah, see, this is not going to hamper the view. We could put a few items on here like we did with the wicker baskets and stuff. We can't build stuff behind it like a fence and lighting and stuff. But if all else fails, see, then we just uh, we just put our hammer away. Wait. Well, we sploosh. Just jump over here, right? The swimming and bathing pier. And it's farther away so it doesn't disturb the fish, right? So it's like do do do. And then you jump and sploosh into the water. Hooray. Let's see if we can do this actually cool. Ah, oh, dang it. I screwed up. I screwed up the timing. Hang on. <laughs> now we're goofing around. That's okay. Oh, kid, where are you going? Don't be wandering off. Oh, shoot. Screwed that up again. All right. We got to do this. All right. Now, photo mode. <laughs> that's pretty cool now i look like one of the goofy um dudes in a in the uh, that's actually pretty that's a pretty good jump i like it i think we're going to keep this here regardless and we can set it up with some stuff on it so this may not be our concert stage but this is going to be our swimming pier I mean, it's a secondary fishing pier, too. You can fish off of it. You'd probably catch fish right by those uh, reeds right there. You know? <laughs> Cannonball! I like it. It would probably be better, first off, if it wasn't cold. And it's, it's like, you know, cold season. Sploosh. All right. So we'll look at that in the summertime or whatever. <laughs> All right. 
Let me see here. Uh, I got messages out to some customers, so. Okay, cool. So hopefully I can get some work scheduled out for Wednesday. All right, what do we got here? Uh-oh, we made pit stops. 45 to go. Chase Elliott made a pit stop. So did Reddick, though. Reddick's super quick, so hopefully they made an adjustment on Chase's car. Chase went 46 laps earlier. And if there's a caution between now and the end, you know they'll um, wind up... Uh, um, changing tires again okay so all right we're actually at the end of day three so that uh, that takes care of that I, I don't think there was anything else we had to do so let's look at journal Unigas story we got to go talk to this dude in um Jezerica. That's going to be our winter thing. And so we'll deal with that in the winter. We're going to close that out. See, so he's picking these Bole mushrooms. These are the ones that are not poisonous. They're part of the thing to make mushroom soup okay so where would we put a concert stage i feel like the market needs to go here eventually so i kind of want to save that space and i don't know if we want the concert stage well there's there's an orchard and we could grow the orchard out this way i don't know if we want it facing the sun you know what i'm saying so where could we do concert stage Maybe that needs to go up here. I mean, this still faces the sun, too. And then there's the chickens to freaking make all the noise. Um, hmm. I didn't really think this through, did I? Unless I knock down a house or move the hunting lodge and maybe move a house up and open a space up in here in the middle. This is a bit of a sticky wicket. Oh, maybe, wait, 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 it's rough, though. I don't like rough terrain. Dogs like rough terrain. Ah, I get it, dogs. Rough. Ah, ah. Hey, train. You're so stupid. Right. I, I, oh, damn it. I didn't want to freaking pick a parasol mushroom. All right. Um, was that steak? It is a steak. There's, that's another parasol mushroom. Don't do this blockhead i got a bunch of stones and stuff now i gotta go throw those in storage over here and then i'm gonna throw the mushrooms into the recycle bin we got steak stone we we're oh we're getting close on capacity here we're gonna have to figure this out this is getting to be a bit of a problem nine buckets let's go fill these up with water and that'll at least transfer that weight out so f e f f e f f e f cut i think we can stop making buckets for a while we'll cut it down to like half or a third per season Because then that will. Mm. 
Okay. Oh gosh, we're pretty full up on our capacity. Yeah, we need, yeah, this is a problem. That is way too much water. Okay, so we need to take that into account. Let's ditch, wait, we wanna ditch good food? I think I'm good on food. Yeah, it's enough to get me through the night, but we'll take, what's the worst thing off? Oat roll, wait, what's the oat roll benefit? That's 10% less sense. So we know that's not it. Okay, that gets rid of those. All right, so now we're going to just transfer the rest of our food into here. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, we got a lot of beetroot we just harvested. We got a lot of cabbage. So what we need is wood bowls okay so now we need to go back and revisit that whole deal in the woodshed so nope that's not the woodshed that's in production in the workshop so oh wait we can still make torches but we we do need we do need bowls and there perfect this will be 10 vials per season, basically, is how that's going to work out. Now, this is going to be... a new bucket, basically, every five seasons, or every five days, okay? So... That'll be two every five days, I think. 0 0.44, 0 0.88, 1.22. Um, yeah. Uh, nope, we're going to keep it on a low number. Or we'll just actually keep it at zero. Let's go for wooden bowls. Six per day. Beautiful. So that's 30 per day. And then we're going to start cooking more. And we got to move stuff along. Oh, caution came out. That's going to change things. That's because guys are just pitted. Hmm. So, we got that covered. But food storage is definitely becoming a bit of an issue. The question is, are we going to get the food storage to anytime soon? And that would be... Uh, wait! <laughs> Hello? Hello? McFly, you've already got food storage too. <laughs> Idiot. All right. That means we need logs, and unfortunately, we don't have a lot of logs, which means we'd have to go cut down a bunch of trees to get logs. Ah, <sighs> poop. We got 19 logs. That's not enough. Because, like, the walls are completely logs. You know what? Let's do this. We'll do this, and then we're going to drop this right here. And over here, we could take these out of here, and these out of here. We're not going to move very fast, but these can go to the smithy. Hopefully the capacity will be enough to hold what we've got. 100 kilos. Cool. All right, 
So that takes 85 kilos out of our storage. I am not. Uh, let's look at stones. I think we have a crap ton of stones. We don't have a crap ton. We're not using them, though. So we're going to drop those right here. But that's 100 kilos out. And then... Copper ore is definitely an issue. Oh, you know what, then? That means we can actually change... We can make a couple of changes here. So... The guy who's doing extraction is doing all copper ore. Um, that's in the excavation shed. So, we could actually take him out of there. Because we, really, we don't really need any of this stuff. Who's, who's working in there? Now, see, it's going to say, say no assignments. This is Tomil. Who is working in the woodshed? Swibor. Now, Swibor is a level five. We don't want to take him out of there. He could fish. We got several fisher type people. All right, so I have an idea. That I want to share. You don't like it, so what? I don't care. This space right here, we might could build another one of these until we can upgrade that because I'm not sure when we're going to be able to upgrade that. And that's what we really need to do. Woodshed 2, yeah, is a thousand points away. That's going to take forever. So if we do this extraction, Woodshed 1, move this over here, face east, bada bingski. All right, what do we need? Eight stone. Oh, I put the stones away. Well, what an idiot. Let me just grab eight stones. All right. See, and this is no good for a stage. All right, so now we need six logs. Hey, hand me a fish line and I'll give that a try. Six logs. We may need eight, and I think we need some straw. I think we need like 12. Straw is freaking 46 kilos of the weight here. We'll fix that in a second. We're going to continue working on this. And we'll be able to put some... Um, so there's that. There's that. There we go. All right, so that's done. Hooray. So now we're going to fix our log problem in moving Tomil to the new woodshed. There we go. Then we need an assignment for him, and it's going to be a bunch of logs, which is going to add up. He can make some planks. He can make some firewood. He ain't got to make a bunch. So primarily, let's get him to gather logs. Yeah, so this is what you do, okay? You, you put together the two facilities, okay? 992. Okay. 
and then you assign them one specific thing of the other three. Everybody gathers logs, and then that goes into the big pool of logs, right? Does that make sense? So then if we go to this woodshed, what we do is we'll have him focus on firewood. There, 20 per day. So that's that's 80 firewood per day. Galen Lord, howdy. Uh, yes, you can. Um, welcome aboard. Hope you're having a great weekend. Appreciate you stopping in. Say hi. Um, yes, you can get fish without a fishing hut. Um, in fact, you can get fish without a fishing spear. You can actually crossbow fish uh, in some areas, but you can't be in deep water. And you can spear fish. So, um, yes, that, but you can't, your villagers can't get it without a fishing hut. Okay. So let me put this one down. So we got two fishing huts, but this is our swimming platform over here. So, um, yeah, your villagers have to have the job position and they can't just, you know, arbitrarily go fish. They got to have a fishing hut and then you got to have fishing spears. And if you want them to fillet the fish, you got to have knives available for them, either in the fishing hut or in resource storage. This over here is as far as this building's going to go. And this is our... Um... Oh, that didn't go good. Come on. Let's do this right. Let's go to the third-person view. This will be more fun. All right, ready? There. Sorry. <laughs> That's our... That's our fishing platform, so people can run and jump into the water, deep water. So we'll add some fun little accoutrements on here, like um, uh, linen uh, fabric and some leather and stuff like that to detail it out. Put a basket or something, and that way people will have, you know, towels for them. I'm playing right now, a shot of pike. Yes, you got the whole fish for not the meat. Okay. So, all right, what do you want to do with the fish meat? Do you just want to, like, roast it? Because that's the best way to cook the fish meat. If you just take the fish to a fire, you can just roast it over a fire. And then you'll get seven roasted fish meat for a pike. You can do that either in the kitchen or any house. So if you look here, if we light a fire and we go craft, you've got it available here. So this is, this is roasted fish meat, right? But this is if you already have the meat filleted. But if you just take a pike, see like this, just take your pike or perch or roach, okay? Well, that's salted fish meat. That's roach. Roach sucks. But pike, yeah, that's easy peasy. You need 20 fish meat per quest? So shoot you three pike. If you need the fish meat, okay, then you've got to fillet them. And that, I uh, don't know if you can do at hmm I don't think you can do that up here but let's see nope you can't do it at the workbench nope you're I think you're going to need if it's got to be straight fish meat I think you're gonna have to build a fishing hut or go buy it um, because if you do the stuff over the fire you got to cook it otherwise yeah to fillet the fish into meat you have to have the work table here and then you get fish meat so I'm afraid you're going to have to build you a fishing hut there sir sorry to be the bearer of bad news but that would be what the situation is uh, what time is it 22:27. alright so we're almost at season end here um, we can do a couple of things first we're going into winter Herbalist hut, we shouldn't have to make any changes. We're not gathering. We're just making potions. So we'll have to watch and see if our girl, Neslawa, yes, cousin Neslawa, if she has her baby. If not, we'll keep her making potions just like she's doing. Um, we need to very quickly check our fields and see if the field got planted with the winter wheat, and it did. All right, so this will harvest next summer. 
So that's done. Uh, and did this field get fertilized? It did not, and that's not a concern. Do we have it indicated for, yes, we have it indicated for flax. So in the winter, she'll go fertilize that field and prepare it for spring planting. Uh, this is in the process of being fertilized and that process will continue. The key is to just make sure your crops are in the ground. Hey, you're welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you'll uh, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. And feel free to pop me a question anytime. Just throw it in comments. I always read and respond to comments. And uh, if, you know, like if you need information, like say, I don't know. Hey, A-Train, how do I find a good way to make money? Here's how you find it. <laughs> you run the looting path. Starting from the start point, you run this path and you look for stuff at all these different locations and um, stuff like that. Oh, you need fishing? You need to know where uh, fishing stuff is? Here's a map for you. This is where you'll find a bunch of fishing stuff, you know, or find the parts to make it. And then if you want to know where stuff spawns around the valley, this is the uh, spawn point map I made. So... All kinds of helpful stuff. And if you have a, a question, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while DJ revolves it. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Simple. I'm here to help people out. That's what I enjoy doing. So I think we were going to do one more quick. Um, quick check here. What did I have a butt ton of? You know what? Let's pull some of this copper ore. Well, no. We'll keep that there. Daub, that's heavy. Firewood, that's okay. Fishing spears, that's okay. What did I have that... What did I have? We only have one bronze axe. Hmm. You know what? Let's sort by weight. Okay. Copper ore is the heaviest thing. Tin ore. Steak. That would be a problem. So here's what we're going to do. F, we're going to transfer like 900 of them. Actually, we're going to transfer 1,000. <laughs> we don't need them. And as long as we can turn, we're good. So we'll just uh, drop this right here. <laughs> that will take 100 kilos out of storage. And we're going to put the, oh, shoot, hang on. I got to turn 90 degrees. I forgot how it drops. Oh, I got to go dump these mushrooms, too. I don't want those in my pocket. And we'll dump the straw. Let's go dump the mushrooms over here in the rotting bin. Oh, we got a bunch of crap over here anyway to get rid of. Uh, so that's something to look at. Okay, X. And then escape. All right, and then we'll go... X, E, F, escape. Yeah, there's, um, so if you look at my map, you'll know there's fishing spawns. Um, fishing spawns occur, well, camp spawn. Okay, so there's this point right here that you can get a fishing spear, and then usually there's a pair of trousers and whatever. Then over here along this way by the Borowo, you'll come across sometimes a fishing spear. Uh, I found fishing spears at a camp over here. Let's see. I think sometimes there's a, a position over here where they may spawn. That may just be a package. Uh, other places are the big fishing camp right over here. And then there's the bucket and the uh, spear that spawn here. Um, there's been an occasion where you get uh, a fishing spear spawns here along with uh, like uh, I don't know a, a, again a pair of trousers but uh, and then I where have I seen spears also spawn oh uh, over here by Denica there's a uh, sometimes a camp spawn right here-ish with a couple of bad guys and I think they may have fishing fishing spears and then somewhere along the west edge of the lake sometimes they'll spawn there so otherwise um, are you playing 1.0 or 
Are you playing the version with Oxbow available? Oh, 11 to go. We're under caution again. Hamlin's in the lead, but Chase Elliott's right there. So hopefully Chase can beat him. Actually, I'd like to see Keselowski win. And Chastain's fourth. I, anybody but Hamlin. I can't stand Denny Hamlin. Suarez is fifth. That'd be fun. Byron's sixth. Reddick is seventh. He was quick. So two Hendrick cars in the top six. Both uh, track house cars are in the top well, five and six. Four and five, excuse me. Kyle Larson's 17th. Man, he was dominating early. Oh, you're on Xbox. Okay, so you're on 1.0. Um, so it takes what? A log, two stones, and a linen thread to make a fishing spear. You don't have to make a fishing spear, though. I think you could just make a regular spear and stab fish. And so that's a that saves effort. But fishing spears sell well. And they really sell well on here. They're like 40 um, coins each. Let's go ahead and uh, get us into winter. I'm going to change my clothes here real quick while I'm thinking about it. Changing my winter gear. We keep those on. Change this out. Change these out. And we go to our bag hat. Uh, we'll go with the fur hood this time. Join hose and thick gloves and the quilted vest. And so let's gear up. And join hose. Cool. All right, we're, we're equipped for winter. And so let's sleep the night away. So what's going to happen here? Any damage? Anything crazy happen? I really want to put a, a little miracle. It's more than a ball. Uh oh, kids got a quest for us. Uh oh. <sighs> Let's see what the quest is. We got to do quests for the kid. Hey, kid, come here. Hello. Hello. Oh, he found the morel mushroom. How'd you find that in the freaking winter, dude? How's it going, little cub? I'm bored. You tried cleaning? <laughs> You're always seeming to enjoy it. I did, but our house is too clean now. I ever even tried washing a squirrel I found in the forest, but I didn't I like it. So I've only tidied up its acorns. And now I'm bored again. You surely are your mother's son. Can you help me out? I could get you a toy. Yes, I think that would suffice. Glad you approve. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a toy for a boy. We know where to get toys. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have... I don't uh, wait we got all these um i don't think they're available for us to use as toys yet we had all these deer we gathered up by sambor's place but i don't think they count strange deer figurine yeah shoot we're just going to sell those once you finish the unigos quest line then you can actually um uh, you can buy stuff from him that are toys. Nine to go. Come on, Chase. Hamlin will freaking wreck him as they go into one and two, though. Watch. Um, we can sell the wizened skulls, the numb skulls. We can't do anything with those yet, and those are easy to get. We need to look for the winter camp and check that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Oops. Life is a constant process of dying. Oh, thanks, Osterbaugh. That's really pessimistic of you. All right, we got a couple of bags we could sell. We make up for all the crap we we paid for. Uh, wooden bowls. What do we got? We got two here. Let's get two there, and wooden bowls here. So let's get thirty-eight special here. Thirty-eight. Okay. Cool. And then we'll have something to sell when we go over to Lesnica. All right, so let's make some soup. So we've got 26. We need 40. No, we need 80 soup. So that's 26. So we need what? 84? No, we're making 40. So we need another 40. We need nine we need 120 all right we've got 120 we need 160 meat so we'll take the oldest stuff first and we need 107 from this stack well that's a lot of it actually 
Okay, cool. All right, so now we can go to our house and make some soup. I had a dream in which people were flying on broomsticks and playing with aggressive balls. <laughs> she had a dream about Harry Potter. Oh no, freaking Kyle Larson got spun out. Damn it. Kyle, seriously, dude. Now you're going to have a green white checker and Hamlin's going to win this damn race. Gosh dang it. All right. So that gives us a bunch of. St Whoa. Okay. Does she have a quest for us? This no. Good. All right. So let's look at this. We got to go to Jezerica to get to Jezerica. We got to go to Lesnica to get some toys for the kid. Let's go Weapons Hot and uh, Smells Divine. I thought it. Uh, let me grab my combat loadout of food here. We got some apples. We'll take these because these are the oldest of the bunch. Beetroot, we're going to have to make more stuff of. Cheese, we're not going to worry about. Is the oat roll still here? I'm going to take the oat roll. That's kind of old. And we're going to take the roasted fish meat. And that will be our combat loadout for the season. Our people are still eating down the pottage, which is good. Roasted meat is not good going to do us any good because nobody's going to touch that because they have pottage available all right i think we're loaded and ready to rumble from an inventory standpoint we're at 66 kilos i don't think there's anything we need do we do we have smithy two yet Do we have Smithy 2 yet? No, Smithy 1. Oh, we do have Smithy 2. Are we making bronze axes? <laughs> I don't know why I haven't freaking checked on this. I feel like an idiot if we're not making bronze axes. We should be. Copper bar tins, but we're making bronze hammers. Ugh. We got tons of bronze, though. So let's cut this down to like one a day. Although, no, we do need to keep making copper because we got so much of it. Let's cut this down. Like one a day, uh, plus iron. Uh, no, not that. Don't make... Dip, dip, dip. There we go. And bronze axe. Yes. That's what we need. At least one a day. Close. There we go. Got it. That'll do. Alright. I feel like we're okay now. And, oh no, there's damage. Shoot. Hang on, let me whip this out. We need three steak, six steak. Do we need repairs to the roof? No. Okay, I think we got steak right here for the, just for the purpose. Three, four, and there's an extra one right there. Oh crap. We need to fix this too. Oh, I need straw. I don't have straw in my hand. I got steak. You know, we're not upgrading the pigsty. I could probably um, reinforce that. All right, we do have straw in here, and we need straw right there. So we need eight straw. I know we got straw here. Eight. Winter baby do. Welcome aboard. Pepperini tater tot casserole. Hey, that sounds. Wait. Pep. Pepperoni, excuse me, tater tot casserole. What? That sounds interesting. I mean, I, I've never heard of that before. I get my pepperoni fix when I go to the uh, local bar and pool hall where I go shoot pool. And I get their um, pizza dias, which is a quesadilla with pizza fixings inside, and then you dip it in marinara. Okay. I don't see any damage over here. Let's just check the list. Appreciate you stopping in, baby, uh, baby do. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll enjoy what you see and like. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the chat. I'm happy to help. Uh, let me check here. We just want to look for damage. So there will be an indicator out to the right if there's anything that's damaged. No. Nope. Uh, the fishing hut one that's showing it's in progress of uh, under construction, but it's going to stay in that state and 
Good. All right, we're all set on repairs. That's hooked up. Oh, Chase Elliott's in the lead. All right, that means he'll get the uh, better start line. So hopefully, maybe he'll pick the inside line. Come on, Chase. You need to get this win here. Chastain's up to third. Keselowski's about to fourth. Byron's in fifth. Suarez is sixth. Let's go, Chase. Bring the Hooters machine to victory lane at Texas Motor Speedway. Uh, ooh, chickens. All right, all our chickens have names. So we didn't have any new baby chicks. We're naming them all after singers or rock stars. If you enjoy our list. We got Getty Lee, Pat Hinatar, Stevie Chicks, Gloria Eggstefan, Chester Hennington, Behinda Carlisle, Hen Stefani, Reba Cluckentire, Ega Fitzgerald, Dolly Parton, Simon LeBock, Amy Lay, Grace Chick, Chick Jagger, Janice Joplin, Eggie Van Halen, Tanya Clucker, and Martina McFried, which I think is just fantastic. And then we are our pigs. Chase is going to the inside choice. Oh, wait. We still got one. Wait. Nope. Are they going to turn the lights off here? Yep. Lights are off. Chase to the inside. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Chastain better not wreck him. Okay. Um, Hamela Anderson, Kevin Bacon, Piggy Smalls, Piggy Azalea, and Natalie Porkman. So do describe your pepperoni tater tots, tater tot casserole. Is it like tater tot casserole with pepperoni on top? I mean, as kind of seems like, duh. Well, of course it is. You know, rocket science. All right, we've got our loadout. We're ready to go. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. We're going to go to Denica, sell our stuff. Actually, we don't need to sell it in Denica. We can just go catch an Uber. And we're going to Uber over to um, Lesnica, sell our stuff, buy some toys for the boy. And then we're going to Uber to Jezerica because then we need to close out the um, – Unigost Quest. Now we're looking for the camp up here on the hillside. I don't see it. Okay, cool. What are the odds we're going to get the bad guy camp up here? What are the odds? Are the odds going to be in our favor? All right. Got to watch see if Chase Elliott gets off to a good start here. Here we go. Texas. Two to go. Come on, Chase. Come on. Ham Hamlin's going to pin him down. I try to get momentum around the outside. Chase's guy's nose in front. Here they come off a of two. Hamlin's got speed. Chase is on the inside. Mm. Oh, Hamlin spun. Hamlin spins and hits the wall. Yes. <laughs> Which is going to put Chastain next to Chase Elliott on the restart. Okay. That was fun. Pizza sauce with hamburger. Okay. What are the odds, folks, that the bad guy camp is going to be up here on the left? We're going to have to deal with it. What are the odds? What? It, never tell me the odds. Let me keep moving because I don't want the piggies coming along and effing with me. I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. It would be right up here. All right. So this is where the bad guy camp would be, but there would be Pike pikes sticking out of the ground so that's good all right we're clear on that pizza sauce with hamburger onions garlic green pepper tater tots cheese and pepperoni wow that sounds tremendous oh hey look this can't the, this little uh, logging setup is here <laughs> it makes me happy when denny hamlin wrecks i just don't like him he's a jerk all right we don't need the stone axes i'd like to ask you a question we do, we'll take the copper axe. Well, that's a hundred percent too. I'm a. I, can I? Can a brother take a cart? Actually, it's not going to do me any good. All right. So we just picked this up. A. You know what? Dang it! While we're here, let's go see if we can find a bronze pickaxe over here. Up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Let's go and fly a kite today. All right. So there's our rock. There's our. Whoops, stamina's too low. This is our first stone waypoint, and that points us to that stone, which then, up. Oh, nope, there's nothing there. There would be a bronze pickaxe there and some limestone to pick up. So, 
All right, Uber to Lesnica. Let's stay focused here, people. <laughs> oh, boy, this is going to be all right. I want Elliot to win the race, but it's always fun when Chastain wins because he'll get up on his roof and he'll smash a watermelon. Hello there. Uh, I need a ride to Lesnica, please, sir. And yes, Uber is much cheaper. When you work on the tugboats, you have a lot of time to cook. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. Okay, Lesnica, here we are. Let's roll tide and go see Teobald and get us some stuffs. Teobald, what's up, G? Well, you got a bunch of money, and I want some money. So, buy, well, I'm going to keep those. Take that. Buy some soup. Soup for you. Oh, that takes most of his money. We got these strange deer figurines too. We're gonna sell those. <gasps> Wait a minute. Now we might be able to buy those back as toys. But let's find out. Alright, we're gonna, oh, he's only got one toy sword. That sucks. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's it. Hmm. Alright, where are we on ammo? 40 oh we're we're good we have a combat loadout on ammo oh we're not we don't need to load up when you work on the tugboats you have lots of time to cook hello there where uh where where you work on tugboats and what have you where are you located jezerica let's go talk to this knucklehead here now we could look west and see if there's that bad guy camp is right over here. And it ain't far, I don't think. I know. Scope creep. A train. What are you doing? Scope creep. I don't see it. Okay. All right. We need to go down here and see this dude. He's down at the fishing dock. So he's one of the two vendors here in Jezerica. Uh, you can buy fishing supplies from him, and then the other vendor's up in the um, tavern. All right, he's over here in the... Oh, you're going to get in the water and make me get wet, aren't you? Jerk. Hey, dude, I've come to ask for your help. All right, here we go with the blah, 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 blah. Okay? Matters pressing. How am I involved with this? Kestrel said you owe her one. Damn, that woman. I thought she just liked me back. I don't know the details of your arrangement. There's an old woman need... Old man needs an escort. Okay? Sorry, I can't help you, but why? I don't have my crossbow anymore. Let's say it broke. Broke due to me being an idiot losing to some stupid riddle game. If I get you a new crossbow, then I'll do it. Be back with your weapon. Okay. So this is this is um, where it gets goofy. You could just go get... We could have just bought him a crossbow in Lesnica. Okay, that's the cheap and easy way out of this. But there, there, is, there is a part to this quest here where now we have to go all the way back to Ida in Borowo. So since we have money to spare, we're going to go play her game and see if we can actually complete this step of the quest. You, you can get away without it. Like I said, all you need is, I, I think it's just a wooden crossbow. But we're going to try to get, we're going to work the, the riddle side of it. Hello? I need a ride. Borrow woe. Let's go. All right, here we go to overtime. Brought to you by Credit One. Green, white, checker. Chase on the inside. Chastain on the outside. Team Chevy. Keselowski and... Oh, Keselowski just got into Elliott. Almost turned him. Elliott's got his nose out front as they come through one. Chastain right off his right rear corner as they come out of two. And yellow's back out. Caution's out. Caution's out. The 21's in the wall, along with somebody else. Damn! Oh, this guy is freaking tripping. <laughs> Mostly harbor placing ships or spotting ships. Oh, the Columbia River. So you're up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, where is Ida the Ho? She's over here. All right, here we go again. All right, we're going to do a quick save because I just want to get this right, and I don't want to fart around with it. Ida. Drama, nope. 
not you. I'm not playing games. Come on, don't be like that. No, forget it. How much for it then? Your coins won't be good this time. I need you to do some. Oh, Jesus. What, what do you need? Get me some fish, and they better be fresh. Okay. All right, so let's see how much we need. Angler without a cause. We need 20 fish meat. Okay. This sounds familiar. This sounds like what... Um, Dallin Lord? Dallin Lord may be dealing with. Hmm. Okay. Fresh fish meat. Where could we, I just assume, buy it? I mean, we could get some over here, but then we'd have to process it. Do we have a fisherman working in the village right now? We do not. Okay. It's fine. It's cool. It's casual. We're going to go see if we can just buy it over here in Gustovia. And I really could have done this quicker if I had a oh, shoot. It's already 1 p.m. I don't think we're going to get this done today. And it's going to piss me off. Is there any schmutz on the riverside down there? I don't see anything. Columbia River in the Pacific Ocean. That's cool. I, I have Columbia PFG <laughs> gear, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> does, does that count? How can I help you? Doby, do you have any fish? I need fish meat. There's three. How do you do? All right, let's go see Adelina. She's got seven. All right, we're halfway there. All right, so now we Uber. Who's it? Who's over here? Miesko Fortunski. He's an average guy. Goslawa. She's below average. Okay, fish meat. Well, where am I going to find fish meat? Cornica? Oh, wait. I know. Denica. Let's go there. Okay, here we go. Coming around for the green-white checkered attempt number two. Looks like cars just spun out. We're going to go see um, King of Rauk here. King, uh, how much fish meat do you have? Life you. Okay. Fifteen. Well, how about them apples? There's what we need. Got it. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, this is going to get us squared away on this deal, and get us back over to Jezerica, which then will get us uh, back to Borowo. Let's go. Bless you. Don't sneeze on me, please. Okay. That's cool. Pretty area up there. All right, so are you in Washington State or Oregon? Is that her? Ida, get your fish. Take it. What happened to your manners? Went where the sun don't shine. Give me the crossbow. Here, finally. Bye. No, I don't care about what you need to fish for. All right, we're going to get this step closed out, and then we just have to deal with the Hornica to see Kestrel, then go see the medic, and then it's, we're done. How can I help you? Need a ride, Jezrika. Let's go, warp speed. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, here we go, restart, restart, restart. And Chase is off on the inside. Oh, shoot, I ran into a tree. Sorry. Um, where's, where's our guy? Wait a minute. Journal. All right, hold on, where do we got? Oh, Chase is on the inside. Ross is fighting on the outside. They're coming into turn three. Chase is now a nose ahead. Chast oh, now Chase is a length and a car and a half ahead. Slides up on the outside. White flag. One lap to go. Chase Elliott, two car lengths in front. Byron blocks Keselowski. Keselowski gets loose. 
He's now chased to the bottom. Chastain to the middle lane. He's now opened up a four car length lead as they come off a two for the final time. William Byron gets into the back of Chastain and spins him. Caution's going to be out, and that's going to mean Chase Elliott wins and Byron finishes second at the point the caution came out. So, ah, that sucks. Byron got a little loose and got into the back of Chastain and spun him. That sucks. There's going to be a fight over that. Wait, what happened to the... Okay, crossbow for Domagage. I got the crossbow, right? Oh, it equipped it. Did it? Wait, where's the freaking crossbow? Where's the crossbow? Oh, my God. What the hell happened here? Get a crossbow for Goma Domagaj. Okay, did I miss something here? How did we not wind up with... I told her to stick it where the moon don't shine. And now all of a sudden we don't have the crossbow. She gave us the crossbow. Uh, okay, I'm confused. I am totally confused as to what just happened here. Okay. So, since I'm confused... Oh! Damn it! Uh, hang on. Okay, maybe this, maybe this will get us back there. Let me see if this... Shoot. I quick-saved accidentally when she was the previous quick save before I spoke to her. So hopefully we'll be right back before we spoke to her. Hopefully. Although I don't know if that's going to work because we had to run around a bit. So this may, well, if it puts us back in the path of where we were buying the fish. All right. I want to see what's going on on pit road. Chase Elliott rolling down. With the win at Texas Motor Speedway. Okay. What just happened? We don't have the fish meat. We don't have a crossbow. Where is Ida? With my... Oh, gosh damn it. Is there a problem with the game or something? Because I'm going to tell it to go screw itself. And I'm just going to go buy a crossbow and fix him up. Where's Ida the hoe? Ida the hoe went wandering off this way. And I don't know where the hell she went. See you around. I'm confused. What the hell happened? Okay, hang on. Auto save eighteen fourteen. Oh shoot! I don't even know what time it is. Eighteen twenty. All right. So this was the previous one. This is screwed up. It told us that she took the fish and she was supposed to give us the crossbow, but apparently it checked it off, but it didn't give us the crossbow. Let's see what the crowd's response is here. Chase Elliott's really popular here in Texas. They're going to ring the... Ring the siren at the Dawsonville, Georgia, Dawsonville, Georgia pool hall. Okay, where are we? Inventory. We got 10 fish meat. We're on the, okay. All right, this is good. All right. Oh, it's you again. We need to go to Denica. All right, so now we know where we're at. Okay, so now we're back into... 
where we need to, I mean, kind of be. So we need 20 fish meat. We know King of Ralk has Hello 15. There. Okay. 20. So you just heard the sound. That meant we checked off. We got 20 of 20. So we got to deliver to Ida 20 fish meat. Right? there okay that dude needs a freaking cough medicine or something so now once again <clears throat> we're gonna quick save oh yeah I quick save before we actually started this quest with her that's not her this is her right here quick save got your fish take it what happened to your manners Give me the crossbow. Here. All right. We got the crossbow. Finally. Bye. Maybe another time. Great. Then she sneezed on us. Okay. Inventory. Okay. His crossbow must be here. All right. There it is. We do have it. Okay. <clears throat> we probably had it last time and I just panicked because I forgot you have to check. And they put it in that special item slot over there, so basically you can't sell it inadvertently. Oh, it's you again. Hey, you missed your last. Oh, yeah. You kicking ass it. You know what? <laughs> Here's the thing, Dread, and welcome aboard. Say hello to uh, Winter Baby Doo, who's making pepperoni tater tot casserole. And, um, where's Domagage? Excuse me. Recognize this? How'd you get it? Oh, look. There's Pike. Guess what? <laughs> Fish in a barrel. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Boy. You know there's going to be some hurt feelings for Chastain as he was running for second. The 24, yeah, man. Byron, I... Dude, you got three wins on the season. You could have given him a little slack there. But I think Byron got loose coming off a of two and clipped him and put him in the wall. Hello there. I need a ride. Hornica, let's go. Kestrel. Now we go see Kestrel. Wait, is that where we're at? Should be where we're at. Deliver to Kestrel. 20 dried meat? Shit. <sighs> Okay, let's see what they've got in here. Maybe they have some in here. Crap, I forgot about the dried meat. Oh no, where's our dude? There he is, Masla. Tell me you got dried meat. You got 11. Good luck. Need nine more. So here we go again. Okay, so dread. You know, night before last, I kicked ass and took you. names. Last night, kind of got the tables turned on me. Um, I ran into the um, highwaymen over here at the Triple Waterfall and was executing a, hey, let me show you how to do this kind of situation. Well, it turned out that they had received upgraded weapons. They had iron crossbows with copper bolts. And they managed to kill me twice. <laughs> Before I finally got my pound of flesh back out of them. And they had they had uh, iron um, spike cudgels. There we go. Uh, so we need nine of this. There we go. Okay. How can I help you? Now that should have given us the... Boom. Maybe. Why does it keep resetting to that? Okay, we got 20. We got a water skin with water. And we got... Yeah, okay. We got what we need. <clears throat> Trying to finish this off here. 
Back to Hornica. Let's go. Yeah, it was. I'd never seen the bad guys carrying. Usually, it's wooden crossbows with wooden bolts. But the fact that they had iron crossbows with copper bolts, I mean, that just was deadly when I play a dope melody. Anything less than the best is a felony. Kestrel. I have the supplies. Commits. Yep. Good. Wish me luck. Thank you. See ya. Okay. 350 meters. We gotta go out in the Indian territory over here. Oh, dang it. They cut away from post-race interviews. Because they had to go out to <clears throat> NHRA in Las Vegas. Great. Thanks. Deeks. All right, so let's grab a sip of the high quality H2O. And all right, let's do this like we did last time. I don't want to fart around with this. I want to get this done. Oh, we already knew that cart was there. Uh, map, we're going to go up to this point and then go west and then infill in from that direction. Last time we were out here. Move, stinking badgers. Last time, oh shoot. I do not want him attacking me because we know now the lynx attacked us. Okay, now we're gonna cut left, head west. Last time we were out here, we wound up killing all three wizened that were over here. And there's Moose. Tatanka's right over there, too. All right, Dieter. Okay. I'm going to blow through this real quick. I don't want to give you a spoiler alert necessarily. But tell me, listen, wake in the middle of the night, rain was pouring down, sky, blah, 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 blah. Cloak man blocked out my way. I saw Jordan. Uh, it's I right, Jordan's throat was sliced open. He looked peaceful. Everyone would presume a disease. Then he helped me. He helped me move the body and light it up. We burned it. Then a couple weeks later, I've run from Gustovia, fearing for my life. Why only after weeks? Because the man in the cloak became the Castellan himself. All right. So basically, he's telling you. Unigost. Unigost killed Jordan. Now, I don't know if you can come back here and take all this stuff. I think you can. Oh, wait. Let's get hot. So now, we are here. And we need to get back to Gustovi. It's 1735. We're going to exfil back to our waypoint. Hopefully, the stupid... Um, Tatanka won't mess with us and now we're going to start making a right turn to hit the path stay away from Wolf Ridge on our left I'm going to run until I can't run anymore because the wolves now are slightly faster than you are alright we go and we uber back Although I'm tempted to go looking for the hunting camp over the hill, we're not messing with it. We're getting done with Unigost. So now we have a, an issue with him, and now we have to make a decision. The king is the king. Hello? Hello? Take me to Gustovia. And he is right there. All right, Dick. Here we go. Time for us to have a discussion. Hello. Like a father. What do you mean? Strict but fair, I guess. Blah, 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 blah. Never tell me more about my uncle. Blah, 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 blah. Tell me about his death. Blah, 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 blah. Time is mirthless. Do I die of old age? No. Nope. Nope. Rasmere, I've never lied to you. Don't call him that. Blah, blah, blah. Your fear of betrayal. I'm begging you. Believe me that brought me no pleasure whatsoever why 
Was it greed? You wanted to be Castellan? Was it jealousy? Living all those years in his shadow? Was it vengeance? You toyed with Kestrel? If you're looking for a reason I hated him, you found one. But I didn't kill him out of hatred. What he did to Kestrel was awful. But he didn't try to be cruel. Besides, every part of his love, this love triangle was hurting someone. We are all to blame. What about the baby? You could have been a father. Are you serious? Yep. Well, never stop. My son may we rest in peace. Uh, so why did you do it? Out of fear, Jordan's doings, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, so I don't want to kill him. You should leave the valley and never come back. You deserve to let kind of, you're banished from the valley. Uh, law of the king is punishable by death. You are a murderer. You will be hanged for what you've done. I don't know what that's going to do for us. Mm, excuse me. Um, you will live the guilt and you're banished from the valley. Okay, goodbye. You are exiled from this land, Unighost. Leaving this peaceful place as a murderer and a liar shows your true colors. You tried to poison my mind just like you did with Jordan's. But that's not going to work this time. I have seen through your deceit. You deserve no forgiveness, only pity. See, then I don't know. I guess your hands will Doby would still be gone if you um, banish him. She leaves with him, or if you uh, if you kill him. I don't know if she stays or goes. I would think she disappears as well. Okay. Well, thank goodness that's over with. Not that we need weapons hot. As we jog back to home, and we can go check in with our kid. And wake his ass up because he'll probably be he'll probably be asleep by the time we get there. All right, the Unigas quest line is done. It's over. It's histoire. Thank goodness. So now that's day one of winter consumed. Let's go check and see if we get a shovel. We don't get a shovel. Do we get a shrubbery? No shovel. No shovel. Damn. Okay. All right. We could check the winter camp real quick. Now, I want to get this quest done for the kid, too. Let's get that knocked out. And that, then we may be able to go up and see Sambor and buy toys from him for the kid. Wait a second. Any chance? I don't see anything orange. Is there any chance there are knuckleheads over here? Kind of close to my place. I don't see any there. There's none at spot one. I don't see a fire where I would expect to spot two. Let's look for spot three that's up here, and I don't see packages, so no. Uh, we could check for the winter camp. And see what we can see. Doesn't look like it's here. Tatanka's here, but no winter camp. Okay, off back to the house. We will go seek out new life and new civilizations and bandits to kill on day two of winter. I imagine, well, if we run the, if we, we run the looting path, there are one, two, three bandit spawns along it. Four, if we go check the, the hunting uh, place. Why are all these people gathered down here? Oh, she's there's benches there. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Maybe I should put a, a fire pit there. All right, Frida. Uh, where's the kid? How are you? I 
Thank you, Dad. Bye-bye. What, what, what just happened? Oh, we got to get a rag doll. Oh, Judas H. Priest, private pile. Here. I bought a toy sword and needed to freaking get him a rag doll from the seamstress. Dude, you don't need to be playing with toys. Which sucks because then that means we just wasted a toy sword. Great. Idiot. All right. Um, so that said. It, with that said. I suppose what we could do. Great, make a great War Thunder map. I don't play War Thunder, so I wouldn't be able to speak to that. I've seen it. I used to play Armored Warfare. I did that for a little bit. And that kind of got Department of Redundancy, Department Boring. All right, nothing is here. So we are going to hoof it up to... Which one is it? Baranica? Branica. We'll hoof it up to Branica. And we are going to see. I didn't think to make some pottage or something to go sell. We'll come back and run that over to Danica. So there can be a bad guy camp right here. We're going to look for trouble. Hopefully nobody armed with iron crossbows because those do not do good for our complexion. So I'm going to stay on this side of the creek and then as we get over to Bandit Ridge, we'll go knock knock and see if anybody's home. Knock knock. Ragdoll, yes. And that was where Steven Tyler basically unveiled his rather attractive daughter, <laughs> Live to the world. Okay, this is Bandit Ridge. We're looking for a bad guy camp up there. Anybody coming out to play? I'm going to flank around this side. Now, previously on how many bandits are we killing today? I have, nope, no camp, hmm, well that sucks, Let's see if that abandoned camp's over here then, doesn't appear to be, nuts, okay, where are the, where are the targets, yep, ragdoll daddy's little cutie, She's a little hottie until I learned she was like a freaking huge smoker. And I'm like, yeah. Bleh. All right. What do we got up here? Any chance we got bad guys up here? Any? Nope. Damn. Dumb. Okay. Well, this is kind of sucking. There's a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Blah, 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 blah. All right, where's our girl here? Is it too early? It's 9 o'clock. What Do you work a short schedule when it's winter time? Where are you? I think this is her house. There she is. Luba Mary. How can I help you? I need a rag doll. Never the oh, there's three of them. You know what? F E F. I'll take all three. You got any other toys or things of that nature? No. Simple large backpack. Eight hundred sixteen coins. That's ridiculous. Man, why do they freaking so raise the prices on everything so much? It's just stupid. All right, let's do this. We shall. Uh oh, we got a production issue. What are we out of? Well, we had a production issue. What are we out of? 
Oh, herbalist type. What are we out of? Oh, chicory. No, dandelions. What? We're out of dandelions? That sucks. Which means we're not going to be able to do potions of healing after she completes this one either. Um, I have some on me, but not... Oh, I have quite a few on me. I have that copper axe, too. i got to drop that off. And the logs and the pike. I got a bunch of crap. Okay, not a bunch. Yeah, we're 50, we got 50 kilos. Um, You know what we need? We need meat. You know where we can get meat? I know where we can get meat. But I also know where we can get fur. Not that we need a ton of fur. We got fur. All right, Mr. Bear. Knock, knock. Hello. I'm here to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can I speak to you for just a minute, please, sir? Can I speak to you? No? How about... Oh, damn it. He went the... He turned. Why is I shot? Oh, you coming this way? No, you're not coming this way. He's coming right for us! Are we clear? Crystal. Clear. Give me that. Oh, your face. Look at his freaking talons. Hey, come here. Thank you. Where's the third one? Is it stuck in your ass? Where's the third one? I hit you with the third one. Where is it? Well, nuts. Remove the ring. She was... Elf Princess, wasn't she? I don't know. I never saw Lord of the Rings. I can say that. All right. So, we're going to cover some ground on foot here as we go looking for bad guys because I know a place or two. We don't get up this way too often, so we're going to cut down through the middle. Just take some time in the middle. Little girl out the All right. We're going to look uh, left and right. I don't see any animals, little hand-carved animals on the rocks. So that's good. Come over the rise. There's going to be Tatanka on the left. Possible abandoned camp. No abandoned camp. And the Tatanka are over there. So, there's a moose. There's Bullwinkle. Can we get a clean shot at Bullwinkle? Nope, because he turned. <sighs> okay. We've got so much leather, though. Oh, here's a crash cart. That's a new location for a crash cart. And it's stuff we already have tons of. Tin ore and more tin ore. You know what? We'll take that. All right, now, uh, there's deer over here, and then there's Piggy down here. There he is looking at us. You going to say something? You got something to say for yourself? Yeah? In your right eye. Uh, you'll find a trunk right there. Yeah? I hear you. Go on, son. I see you stomping your foot. Oh, you're coming fast. Now you slowed down. See, that was your mistake. Right there. That looks like a good spot. Frickin' Arkansas Razorbacks wannabes. Alabama jacked their stuff in baseball. Yeah. Arkansas was number one. <laughs> Roll Tide. Alabama was number 25. All right, where do we stand here? We stand in the place where we are. I don't want to fart around with him. Okay. Let's. We do need meat. So that will take care of some of that. Oh, yeah. I like it.
Bullwinkle and his chick are now out of commission. One shot, one kill. That's that's called that's that's control there, folks. Oh man, am I gonna get my bolt back? Not that I don't have spares. I have spares. It's not like I'm down to three of them. Oh, I did get it back. You're carrying too much. Uh ooh. Ruh row, rest row. This is gonna give me even more to carry. Now we have a, a bit of a sticky wicket. Because now, if we find bad guys up here. All right, so now we're going into the potion pouch. And, uh-oh, I don't have a potion of weight. What, bro? This is going to slow things down. All right, are the Shatheeds over here? Where are they? They should be. There's the path. I think they would be right over this way. Oh, Shatheeds. Are you here? No? Damn. They would normally be right here. This is that spot I get keep telling you guys about. If you're going west, I mean eastbound and down, and you're loaded up and trucking, you're trucking along the path here, right? You're not going to see that there's two guys sitting by a campfire right here who are going to run up on you and jack your style from behind, which is not really nice unless they give you the pleasure of a reach around or a courtesy of a reach around, I should say. Thank you, Gunny. So... Now we got production issue, and again, that's the same outstanding issue. There's pike right here. The problem is the drop off's too steep, so you wouldn't be able to reload in the water. All right, this sucks. How did I get caught out without a freaking potion of weight? And the big fishing camp's not here, which actually is kind of beneficial because we really don't have the capacity. That would be right here. So there's knucklehead some, you know what? If we just run into two key, we could sell some of what we're carrying. And that would save, wait, 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 wait. Ah, hello. Don't need logs. Don't need a cheap ass ax. There's not a good one. So we'll pass on that. Now, we're going to keep oriented left here because that's the thread axis. Move, badger. Stinking badgers. Uh, don't see a camp over here. And here we have a plank and a log and coins. Well, that doesn't cost... Uh, hello? Hello? Let's hoof it to Tootkey, and we can dump the leather and the fur because we care. We have a crap ton of that back home anyway. Our king will go down in history as the most forgettable one. I agree. Oh, I forgot. We got two points to add. I mean, we just made level four in hunting. That sucks. But that said, all right, so we want to unlock a level three skill. Slower durability loss of weapons. Sounds good. And now we go to, okay, again, let's cover this. So we've already got three out of three points in, in steady hand. That steady your, your range weapon aiming, okay? Tracker, you need a point in because that's your IFF for um, animals, strong arm. If you're using a standard bow, 10% slower stamina consumption during aiming, and that'll go up to 30, 10, 20, 30. Lock and load is what we want, 10% faster bow drawing and crossbow loading. So get to level four and put points in. I, I prefer the crossbow. That's just me. You do you, boo. Is this her sitting here? Cool. A newcomer. Hello there. Good luck. Yeah, never mind. This is who I'm looking for right here, Amanda. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, you sound sick. You got money. Um, buy this copper axe. 
take this leather, take the logs, uh, the moose skulls, that takes us down 10. Here, have a fish. That's 200 meat. Now, the meat we want to keep. So take the fur, and that's good. That's about as good as we're going to get. It was nice see okay. And excuse me, Walrad, you're a jerk. Get out of the way. All right, I have a plan. Okay, here's the plan. We made a new level in diplomacy, which is good. So barter, we're already three of three, so we get the best prices we can get. Okay. Now, we could drop back and punt to diplomacy knowledge. We don't need empathy because we're not flirting with anybody. Uh, what year is this? This is winter of year five. Uh, creative accounting, we got to unlock tier three skill for that. So that's inspiring speech. It's faster production. Uh, good host is 10% slow. No, we'll do inspiring speech. Yes. And then Castellan is lower demand of food, water, and I'm not worried about that. Lower tax, you know, I'm not worried about money. Um, we'll go with that. Cool. All right, so here's the plan. How is life treating you? I need a ride. Take me to Rolnica. Okay. Why are you going to roll, Nick, eh, train? Because I drink water and I know things. Speaking of, we have a sip of the high quality H2O. All because here you have three vendors. You have the pig lady, you have the dude in the barn, and you have an herbalist hut. What do herbalists sell when they're home? Herbalist slut, I mean hut, where are you? Why are these people not at their duty stations? I mean, if they were in the privy, they'd be in a duty station, right? Technically. God bless. Sounds you're sicker than hell. Let me stand far away. Six feet, lady. Stay back. Potion of weight. Give me four of them. Well, hell, give me five. That's a that's a kilo. Boom, done. See you soon. Smell you later. Okay, you can buy piggies here. Some people just can't handle alcohol. All right. Now we're going to uh, hoof it overland back to uh, back to the back to base. Because there are multiple opportunities to encounter bad guys and help clean up the environment. So this is a fresh spawn of this cart. Looking right for wolves. If we see them hunting uh, rabbits, and there's several rabbits. Flour, we don't want. Wheat, we don't want. Bronze sickle, we'll take. Okay, we're looking right. There's no campsite right there. That campsite gives you lots of clothing. It's abandoned, so you don't have to worry about bad guys. Now we're going to kind of sort of jump in the river here. i walk in the river. Let's scare the fish. Move. That guy's a little bit cleaner. It's not going to give us fully, fully clean. You're not going to get zestfully clean. Because you're not fully clean until you're zestfully clean. And now we're going to be looking for bad guys as we come over this rise. Damn. Damn. Where the hell is everyone? I don't see a bucket with a fishing spear over there, so that sucks. Bad guys will be camped under this tree here, so guess where we're going? South. Go south, young man. Crash cart. I think this is reset recently, so we may find something here that's useful. And there's stuff, including a bronze sickle. Okay. 
All right, we got two options how to work this here. We're going to be looking for a bad guy camp up here with pikes. We got stinking badgers. All right, I want this guy to go somewhere, but I don't want him to cross my path because he may attack me. Apparently, that's a new thing. There's nothing here. There's a fox chasing a wolf, but I'm going to give him a pass. I think we just ran through the space where the bad guy camp would be. If not, it would be right over here. So, no bad guy camp. This sucks, and not in a good way. Whoa. Oh, that's an abandoned camp. There we go. So this is a possible place you could build. The problem is going to be early game. You're just going to be dealing with a bunch of stupid birch trees, which sucks. Um, once you get your um, your uh, wood uh, woodcutter shed up and going, then you'll be okay. There's a bronze axe or an iron axe. That's even better. Berry wine as opposed to berry white. Some firewood. There's some arrows. Iron arrows at that. Wait, nope. One is a bronze one. We'll grab the firewood because why not? That's 15 BTU worth of heat. Hot plant seedlings. We can plant that come spring. And I think... Anything else? I think that may be it for this one. else anyone Bueller no whoop whoop yep, yep, yep. okay all right let's continue on now there can be a another abandoned camp up here on the left now here's a crash cart this one looks like it's been reset recently it's got stones pretty useless stone pickaxe iron ore yeah we won't yeah can't do anything with the iron ore effectively. Could there be bad guys guarding the bridge? That'd be fun. No. Are they? Is everyone at home? Where are you clowns? All right, we'll head this way now. These there can be shooters over here. We're looking for cross. We're looking for crash carts across the path, and there are none. So nobody's home over here. Not this bridge. Nobody here? Okay, let's head back this way. I don't know. I would think so. I don't watch like a lot of network TV anymore, so I don't catch all the commercials and stuff. I just remember the stuff from the 80s. All right, do you can find... Um, like a pair of trousers and a fishing um, uh, spear right here. So, let's have something to eat. Where are we? We're down to 20%. Oh, you know what we can do with 20%? We have this oat roll. And it gives us 80 food. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Let's take a right and we'll go looking this way. Otherwise, we are just having a... Oh, what have we here? There's a camp. Now, there's wolves over here, too. Now, this is abandoned. So now, the wolves are up on the hillside. There's a rabbit and wolf interface here. So you got to go IFF up. You see the green rabbits. Check around and see if there's anything else. Uh, we're going to unass this joint. Nothing here. Wait, hammer. I forgot. I was like, oh, and that's 100% iron hammer. <laughs> that's like an arm and hammer. Okay. Now, 
we are effectively overweight. I don't know. We have meat we could drop. Um, we're barely overweight at the moment. So let's see if we can get up here and get lucky. I've ridden my horse up through here and come across a bad guy camp. It's on the left. We're looking for the whales. If you know AHA, you'll know that song. Wolf over there. All right, I don't want to go all the way back up to Rolnica, but at this point, that may be faster to just get us home. We've checked all the common places here on the west side. Of the, uh, no, Uber at Lesnica is closer. And we're encumbered, but barely. You'll still move basically full speed top speed after the ice cream man if you are within like five kilos of your max weight much above that and it becomes a problem so this is going to get us close Great, great day out today. Cool. Did you do some yard work? Did law, oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. All right, they're off work. That's why the thing just disappeared in the upper left-hand corner. That means it's uh, 1,800. You won't get master idiot alerts when the work day is over. And then there's clay pits right over here if you need them. We don't. But just an FYI. And that's a trick that's a trick path. If you go from here to Rolnica, excuse me, or vice versa, I highly recommend How are you? that um, you just Uber, but be prepared because there's wolves and um, <coughs> damn dude. It's freaking contagious. All right, hold up folks. I have to make a quick pit stop, so let me put the Merovingian up. I shall return. Of course, I said that. I didn't put MacArthur up. Let's get this wrapped up here. And uh, uh. <laughs> did I ever get the stripper pole? No, I did not. Um, but we are looking at, and we were discussing at the opening of the uh, episode, where we could build a stage here at our village. And 
We had some ideas. But uh, didn't we wound up building a swimming dock out of a fishing dock from a what's up dock? Ah, oh, damn it! I'm not going. Pigs. He's coming after me too. Well, you know this is going to be burning too because when it's cold out like this and you get all winded, oh, you know that's going to be cold. All right, we're going to check over here and see. Ah, crash carts here. Hooray. You're dirty. <laughs> that's what she said. This is water skin. Oh, we needed to replace the water skin we had. And there's a, no, we don't need a stone knife. We don't need a fur. We don't need a leather. But that's here. Uh, let's see if the uh, stuff's over here. It's not. There's rocks. You'll find a couple of sacks there sometime. And then if you go over to the island, um, you know something? This is all new. I don't remember these reeds being here. This must have been part of the rework. Um, when they did 2.0.2.4 or one of the just earlier ones just before that and they reworked the river edges on both the maps uh, what do I need I need to get this because we gave away our water skin Q hey what's happening how are you nice to see you how's your weekend been you say hi to winter baby do um and i'm not sure if that's a guy or a girl but y'all are up in the same part of the country winter is in the west side of the state and you're over by spokane winter uh i guess works on tugboats over on the columbia river getting your garden in that's great all right so we're gonna look here for Ah, it's here. Okay. Now, here's the trick. We've talked about this before. Look at the shovel, and you can see if the blade is, I mean, if the handle is offset to the side of the blade, you know it's just a crappy wooden shovel. However, comma, that's an iron shovel right there, boys and girls. You take this stone right here, and it reveals that. And then you take this stone right here. No, actually, we're not going to drop it back there. We're going to drop it over here, out of the way. Yeah, they've added all this. This is all new. All this, uh, these reeds over here are new. Oops, I did not hit the right button there. Tried to eat the stone. Cool. Now there are pike right here in front of us. Shoot the breeze, shoot the fish. All right, where are you? I do want to put someone on fishing. So we can start, I want to get in, you know, because roasted fish meat is my primary deal that I like to carry around with me. And we sold the pike we had because we wound up becoming heavy either way. Well, where are they? There's, okay, the spawn point's here. All 
Are they sleeping? Channel is dedicated to your chihuahua named Winter, which passed away. Oh, sorry for your loss. That's nice. So you, you, if 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 the dog were running towards you, you could say Winter is coming, right? That's cute, Winter. Chihuahua named Winter. Okay. Well, let's raise a glass in honor of a Chihuahua named Winter. Now, here's the thing. We should be freezing at this point. All things considered. We spent so much time in the water that we should be freezing. Okay, so aside from going up over by Sambor and checking the hunting location down by Hornica, we checked a lot of places that commonly have bad guys and found none. That is disturbing. Uh, let's dump off some weight. We'll grab... At 2130. It's okay. It's not too late. Dude, why aren't you in sitting outside? All right. What can we get rid of here? We get rid of that, 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 that. We have tons of those. That, that, these, that, that. That, that we saved to go next door. Rag dolls we'll hold on to. Okay, Liv Tyler's stay in pocket. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't drop the bronze arrow. That was dumb. All right, there's 200 meat. We got some meat to work with now. We can make 50 things of soup with that. Chihuahua Slawa. Oh, you know what we need? I know what we need. Hang on. Um, Twelve stones and six firewood. We just brought in like six firewood. let's go down here if someone's sitting down here this might be our wife yep it's Agnes hi honey and let's just build a campfire right here cool there we go nice all right, so let's talk about the um, stage situation. So I thought about trying to do something here by the water's edge. I don't want to block the view. We did put in the um, swimming um, platform here. So we got that available to us. And I thought about maybe making this the stage. You know, we could put a couple of crates on here or whatever. And it's got a lot of space, but it's also kind of stumbling. People could sit, you know, we put some benches up here on the, and then they have a decent view. But we couldn't decorate it like with the boards behind. We wouldn't be able to put lights around it. So we got to find another place to do a stage. Now I thought about here. But also think this would be a good place for a market. Right here by the road. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So maybe not so much there. Now we had an open place here. But it's very rough terrain. So I plopped in the second one of those. So, can I get hypothetical on this game? Oh, you copied my stage idea? Well, Q, that's uh, flattering of you. You know who else did? You know who else did? Gwen the Shield Chucker. <laughs> Gwen the Shield Maiden, they made a stage in their village too. And then her, her, her buddy Captain, uh, Captain Chicken Dance goes up on the stage 
he and his uh, his cohort, uh, they were on board here the other night, and they did the chicken dance with the goose heads on. So they did the dun 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 and then they did the they started jumping so it went honk 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 hack. It was greatness. It's on her channel, so go check that out. Gwen the Shield Maiden. <laughs> it's so funny. So we need a place for a stage, and I, again, I'm trying not to maybe put it facing the sun. We might as well be looking at the sun. Bum, 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 bum. We put it over here, then we're facing the sun. Of course, usually we do stuff after. You know what? This may actually be a pretty good. Of course, the chickens are a pain in the ass, but the chickens are in bed by six o'clock. Hmm. Of course, this is way up here, and the only people that live up this way are this is this one house here. So maybe we'll move a house. Relocate a house up there, so then we'll have people hanging out. So we got one house over here. And then we're at the east end of the village here. And then we got a house there. And the other houses are on the main main drag. It's slopey. What's slopey? This up here is slopey. Um, okay, it's slopey. So with it being slopey, maybe we put the stage there and put the seating facing downhill towards it. Like Shaw. I mean, we could take this um, birch tree out. Otherwise, otherwise, well, okay, hold on. Let's just look this over here for a minute. Let's think this through. Otherwise, I almost feel like it might be better. You better, you better, you bet. If maybe this house needs to go, we move that house up the hill and then we can build the stage right here. Then it's not blocking anybody's view, right? Because then you're looking, I mean, you got no house here. That's a house, but this blocks its view. And then we could actually kind of take out part of this path, not necessarily, but, or we could put the markets here and then put the stage over here by these trees. We need to put in a bath section too. Oh, your backyard is slopey. You have a commercial? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're getting commercials on the channel now, so I got to figure this out. Let me make some phone calls tomorrow. Try to get a hold of some knucklehead at, at um, Google. So there's a barn here, right? What if we did the stage here? Let's do this. Let's do. What if we did the stage right here and then we look at maybe moving that house. And then we could put the well, you know what? There would be room for the market for a couple of markets right here. So we could put a couple of them right here, maybe three. But then we have space here if we take, if we take, because there's the fire pit. Oh, looky there, we got survival. Level nine, uh, solid as a rock. Yes, 20% less damage received. Okay, so we're maxed out. 
You want survival sense, incense. Uh, you know what we could do insensitive. I'm tired of this stupid temperature thing in the summertime. One day that it's 40 degrees Celsius and it kicks our ass and he just whines like a little bitch the whole time. All right, so let's do this. Not that, let's do this. Do that. It's not like we got we need to put a lot of seats out here either. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's pretty flat. Oh, shoot, I put it too close this way. All right, let's do this again. Maybe here. Oh, this could be promising. This is not bad. Let's take out this rock here. Oh, what do you think of this, guys? It's not a big stage either like we've had before. Little saplings ever grow bigger? They do not. And that's something I wish the game did. All right, so saplings, right? So say they're saplings. Those, those basically are a couple of sticks, right? So then you move up to a smaller tree kind of like not like those well a little smaller than this right and maybe you just get more sticks and then the third season maybe it's this size tree so then you could get some sticks and like some firewood from it and then it's a little bigger tree and you could get more sticks and then maybe you get a log from it and i'd like there to be 10 different uh levels of um, 10 different levels of uh, tree development until you get to like a big tree like this and it's like 8 or 9 or 10 logs plus a bunch of sticks you know what I'm saying so you let the trees mature over several seasons and then you're set you know something this don't make no sense there's a tree growing out of a rock so one's got to go which goes the tree or the rock Clean up this mess around here. Okay. There's our stage. Oh, we got the plank walls now, too. So we can put the plank walls behind it. How big is the sewing? Is the sewing hut bigger? Oh, maybe it is. It is bigger. Oh, look at Q's on top of it. I like that. You know what? I got <laughs> El Destructo. All right. Go pick up some more stones and put down a sewing hut. I don't know if we're going to need eight or we're going to need ten. All right, I want to put it between these two trees. There's enough room to put stuff behind it between the, it and the path, I think. Yeah, we got a little bit of room there. All 
Okay, and here's the here's another thing to this. I'm curious. Uh, I don't wait 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 bep bep bep. Damn it! I don't have them on me. So here's the thing: if we built benches here, they would sit in the ground. But this is really sitting low compared to our stage in uh, Piastovia. All right. I dig it, though. It's a little bigger. What time is it? 0354, shoot. Yep, it's about to be dawn. We're not going to be able to sleep. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. What do we got here? We got some stuff. We got some stuffs. Oh, we got lots of logs now. And we should have more planks, too. We got lots of planks now. Mm-hmm. And you know what else we got? We got wicker crates now. And you know what else we need? We need one of these. Got it. Okay, so let me think here of how, which side of the walls faces us. Oh, I have an idea from uh, Gwen's build, too. So we're going to build an offstage area. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. We're going to build like an offstage area, too. I want to make sure I'm parallel with the edge, of uh, the front edge here. Okay, good. We're parallel with the front edge. Okay. So now we're at the back edge. Let me just make sure. Shoot, I can't. Okay, obstacle building, blo the block in the building site. Okay. Okay, so obstacles block in the building site. All right, that doesn't do us any good. So we gotta get as close. Well, let's go around. Let's spin 180 degrees, one tick. There we go. Okay, get here. The only problem is we don't want to be facing this direction. This is the problem. We want the smooth side facing the stage. So we actually do have. Oh, then we just do it this way. One tick off of northeast. Uh, that's still gonna goof it up. There you go. All right. Ah, we're close. We're close. Okay, so let's move over just a touch. Just a touch of love. Just a touch of love. Okay, we're still just a touch off. Damn, how? Shoot. Damn. Big Dome. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Need Mel Brooks as an opening act. That's it. And a miracle. We need a ho white horse named Miracle. Only a miracle can save us now. This looks like it's going to work there. Okay, I feel like I'm just off angle here. The angle of the dangle has to be right. 
Oh, 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 we are so close. Oh, 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 dibby. Okay. Dibby, she. Uh. Okay, I think we're good here. Let me whip this out. Oh, no, are we looking at the back? No, 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 we're good. Okay, I'm seeing the wrong thing. get a full out of that <laughs> all right so there's that part now what I think we could do here again I think I'm looking at this from the wrong direction but maybe we could squishy this in here squishy okay that's the correct uh, orientation Right. So close. Let me just try and mouse this. Okay, there are obstacles there, and there were insufficient length. Oh, oh my God, we were right there. Oh, we're right there. Uh, eh, eh. kid I had this figured out I mean we're right got it <laughs> you like apples I like them apples all right same thing on this side um, How you like me now? Oh, now, now I want to see how far. Okay, we're just coming up a couple of feet here. Uh, it's facing, it's going the wrong direction. We don't want it facing that way. We want it facing this way. Bew, 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 bew. Okay, I think we'll be all right if we get to this point here. <clears throat> okay, that seems right. Close enough, right? Oh, that made a gap. We don't want that. Mind the gap. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> so we want to get really close here to... Hello, Stephanie Busby. Welcome aboard. How are you? Stripper comment. Yes. All right, so if you're not used, if, if you, Stephanie, if you hadn't, first off, I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, and say hello to Winter Baby Dew. Uh, he's new to the uh, channel. Um, we will, we will rock you. Yeah, and all that good stuff. Um, on my Oxbow build, my village there, we have a stage. And we have a weekly schedule of events. 
That still has the gap. And it's on the wrong side. Damn it, Beavis. What the hell happened here? All right. Um, the schedule of events on the stage is Sunday uh, midday. There's a uh, religious service. Sunday night is open mic. Um, oh, speaking of, let's set it up. I want to do a little different, I guess. We'll set it up over here. So um, Sunday night's open mic. Monday night is the village um, meeting, town meeting. And then uh, afterwards is a pie eating contest. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get this. Since we got a little more space to work with, since Steph, uh, since Q hooked us up with, hey, do this instead. I don't think I'm going to bother with putting flowers in front of it this time, though. You know what I'm saying? The flowers are cute and stuff. I don't like the fact they're out of season most of the year. Anyway, uh, so Monday night, yeah. We have um, town meeting and then pie eating contest afterwards. Tuesday night is uh, the local um, drama troupe does a uh, one act play. Wednesday night is fun and games. So Wednesday nights uh, we have uh, like um, staring contests, arm wrestling. Oh, don't fall down. There you go. Okay. Um, and then I... Uh, oh, you know what? I can back that ass up to kind of about here and drop it like that. There we go. That's a beauty, eh? All right. Now we drop our piece of firewood. The axe is ballast. We rotate it this way so it looks better. We move down and forward. Wednesday, yeah, so we have uh, arm wrestling, staring contests, um, yo mama jokes. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's put this down. So now, okay, so there's our, uh, there's our stand, and we may put flowers on it yet. I think I got that pretty centered. It's pretty good, huh? And then, um, yeah, that was on Oxbow. Yes, this is the karaoke thing. Um, so, and then what was the other thing I was going to do on Wednesday nights? We were adding another game in. I don't remember. Thursday night <clears throat> is ladies' night. And that's the night of the mail review. Friday night is the men's turn. And that's when we have the ladies on stage for a show. And Saturday night is karaoke night. So there you go. That's the, that's the uh, schedule of festivities each week here on the A-Train Village stage. All right. And then we'll drop a couple more back here to be um, speakers. We gotta put in the sound system, air quotes sound system. All right, and this then we go E, flip it this way, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no! Do that. This will be the base. Now go here ish, just ahead of that log. That it's not even, so it's kind of tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Dance, string, a rock around, a rock around, a right on time. It's tricky. Let's see? Tricky, 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 tricky. Huh. So, yes, this is setting us up for another karaoke event. Wait. Oh, I think I had that. There we go. All right. Are we centered there? Awesome. Wait. No. We're not. It should be centered on the plank wall section. We're close. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Now, so we're going to put it down nice and low. And then as we back it up, we should hit a stop here. Doink. Just like that. Beautiful. That's a beauty, eh? Wet t-shirt contest. 
Um, women's mud wrestling. Oh, well, that could be interesting. We just need uh, just need a tub, right? Something like that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's drop another dealio. XF, and then we can drop another one over here. Uh, I'm going to turn it this way because I think that will get us in better position for where we actually need it. And if we drop it like this, we still need to do a consumed water. Why did I? Oh, Jesus. Really? Stupid ass. Oh, we are hungry. This warrior needs food badly. Bing, 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 bing. Nope, not the ragdoll. Okay, cool. That'll take care of that. Now, uh, E, flip it up this way. Yup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get, just get vertical. Ah, no, dumbass. Get vertical. Twist that way. There we go. All right, now. Scooch, 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 scooch. Is that going to work? Oh, that's close. We can back. No, that's that's good. I think that's good. We could twist it just a touch, but I think we're going to call it good. Now, is this one pretty backed up? That looks pretty good. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and I got rid of the wizard skulls, didn't I? We could have used one of those over here. Where are you going? Hello. Hold the button down. Thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. Awesome. I think we're good. All right. There's our speaker system. Hooray. So we need a few more planks. Oh, we got to fix um, issues here real quick. Dread's blushing. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, I got to drop this dandelion in here. So F -E -F. Oh, No, dumbass. F-E-F. -F. There. Now we got dandelion to work with. There's plenty of broadleaf plantain to work with. We'll drop that. Okay, so we need a few more planks, planks for the memories, and then we'll get a couple of heads of state. And we have some logs. We do have a bunch of logs, so that's good. We got a couple of deer. Oh, dear. Oh, we're in crafting. You're not going to see it. have a moose skull here too could have a numb skull okay cool now again if you're new to this so did you see the garden hose meme yes yeah I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> That's pulling that forward. Oh, well, I would explain why. Okay. Well, let's see if the moose skull is going to work then. We may have to pull the, the speakers forward. Um, do -dum -do -dum -do -dum. X. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. It's too bad we can't build a shelf on the wall. <gasps> Wait a minute. Yes, in fact, we kind of can. Kind of. Set this over here for a second. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit, and this will fix that up.
because we could use two of these and then we could run a plank between them and that creates a shelf. Okay, that's as far back as he goes and that puts him in a good position and this here we're going to relocate we're going to pull this forward slightly about there ish There we go. Sweet. Now we just got to unlock the lights. Uh, let me whip this out and fix this. Cool. There's that part. Nice. I like it. Closes in that edge of the, edge of the stage. Now we got to get this part figured out because it's vexing me. I am vexed. Uh, yeah, you could throw a spear into the wall. Um, but there's two aspects to that one. Yes, it allows it sticks out and you can hang things on it like buckets and whatever. Um, but two, the bigger issue is, oh, hell, what are we out of henbane? Okay. All right. You know what? You can do me a favor since you're pregnant and everything that, you know, doesn't make you exempt from work. And as I brought up the other day, I've had a new, th I've had a, a thought on this. And that is, you know, in this era, women, <laughs> they worked. It's like they squish a baby out. And, wait, it's not Frida. Who is it? Oh, it's Nick Slawa. And they uh, were like back to work the next day. It's like they're holding the baby in their arms. And then they're just, you know, scooping cow poo and whatever. So I don't think this two years works. This two years of downtime. Women were much tougher than that. So I don't think they give the women credit where credit is due. Let's just turn around this way. Just at like that. It's still on the wrong damn side. Blockhead. How is this happening? Okay, let's try this then. Let's try it from this side. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it's just the direction we're facing. Oh, there we go. No, that's still not right. It's still facing the wrong way. Shithid! You're so lame. You're so lame. You probably think people got you. You're so lame. <laughs> Um, shoot. This is creating a bit of a sticky wicket here and trying to figure out how to get this fence in here. All right. This is in the way. And this is in the way. Okay. All right. We're going to try this again. Are we getting lucky this time? We just want to be just over minimum length. That closed the gap, but it, damn. Oh, why is it doing this? I don't get it. It keeps sticking the freaking post on the wrong side. What if we do it this way? 
and then see if we can get it to flip, kind of like we were dealing with earlier. Anyway, the spear thing. So the spear is cool and all, except for the detail that the point winds up sticking like a foot through the other side of the wall. Okay, let's try it from this side. That's the little detail of it. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Because I've done that and dealt, you know, look at that. You just get like a, you know, regular spear or stone spear or whatever. And the problem is it sticks through the backside. So, um, squishy, that's right. Squishy. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. If you are, please give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Squishy. Uh, why aren't you flipping directions? All right, wait, wait, wait. Maybe if I do it this way. Aha. Hey, kid, what are you doing? Where's your mother? Oh, hey, come here. Bought you a present. There we go. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Oh, that's nice and tight, too. <laughs> we like a nice, tight fit, don't we? Yeah. We got those are good, nice, tight fits, too. That's awesome. It's like if we had a group of guys on stage, it'd be Robin Hood, men in tights. You did not step on a snail. It's freaking frozen. And there ain't no snails out when it's frozen. Just like there ain't no morel mushrooms for you to gather and hand to me either. All right. Beauty. I love it when a plan comes together. Bum, ba dum, ba. Bum, bum, ba. Jabbing a knife in the wall. Well, okay, so here we, here would be the way to address it, I think, is basically, okay, you chuck it in, and then the point's sticking through like six, eight inches or so on the other side. You could try getting it right where the log is, and maybe that will minimize it. And then you could build a second wall on the backside, you know, like a little bit away from it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Do I have any logs left on me? I should. Boink, boink, boink. Benches. What up, benches? What? <laughs> All right, we only have like 12 people, so we don't need a whole lot. Need more logs. And then what else do we need? So if you want to see what we could do. Oh, wait, it's three per, isn't it? Let's get a, let's make a spear. Okay. And um, we'll, we'll do some demonstration stuff here. 
so you guys can see how this works. Do 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 do. First, back up. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we need to build a fire here at the. Uh, the beginning. Okay, so spear. No, that's the thing. I don't smoke, never have. So that's the only thing. So I'm not going to be George Papard in that regard. I am the captain of the A team. That's my pool team name, though. All right, so let's let's look at what we got here. So see, there's the rail right there. Whoa! Okay, I think it's got to be a, um, I think it's got to be a stone spear to penetrate. That's hilarious. He's a bear. Move. Yeah, no, this ain't working. Okay, so let's, yeah, kid. So we need... 12 stones, 6 fire. Oh, our girl's sweeping, so she ain't got nothing to do. Um, that's Frida the farmer. So let's put her into the barn. Here. And let's see what she can go do. Make animal feed. Perfect. That'll work. Um, I mean, she's going to have one day, not even one full day of work here, so she can just make as much as she can make and whatever. Although she'll make a crap ton because she's skill level five, so that works out pretty good. All right. Um, so let's put that back in there. Oh, we don't need that either. We don't need these either. Uh, we'll need a couple of those. Oh yeah, I still got plans on those. Steak, we don't need. Uh, wooden spear, we don't need. All right, so what we need, and we got, I, wait a minute, how do I have, what in the ass? Did the damn game steal a rag doll from me? I bought three of them. My kid out there playing with two of them? That's gay. G A Y Y. Gay. Don't be gay, son. Um, okay. What do we need here? Um, what do I need here? There's something I'm. Th oh, uh, we gotta make a stone spear. So we need a log and some stones. <laughs> Imagine that. Let's see how many stones we need for this. Uh, we need one stone and one linen thread. Okay. A bolt might work. Oh! A bolt might work. An arrow might work better because it's a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Weapons up. Stand by. See how this works out. Now, what do we want? Where are we wanting to do this? Here's one thing. I am wanting to put a wood. We're going to do a plank fence here. It's going to be like a little changing slash storage area. Doesn't need to be that big. Two. I could really do with a drink. All right, quit your whining. Oh, 
Oh, and then we can put a plank gate in here. Okay, what what are we looking to achieve with the bolt? I'm just trying to remember. So we can build a couple of benches. Well, no. If I put benches back here, the freaking idiots will use them. Oh, look here. Oh, I didn't grab enough stuff for a freaking uh, deal. All right, so we're just, are we just doing a concept? Is this proof of concept? All right, so here's what we'll do. There's that. I'm fed up with people always complaining. Okay, iron bolt is sticking out of the wall. Good. And there it's just barely sticking through. That's acceptable because that's within the limits of how far the uh, the log support sticks out. I like it. What are we doing this for? Now, if we had, say, I don't know, a hat. sure he stole my money so now the question is what are we, are we trying to hang like the oh no uh, that didn't work um uh okay so what if we take this and we rotate it like this and then we go like this That did not work. <laughs> Fail. Okay. So let's try again. My favorite times of the year are the parties between seasons. Good thing that only selected people are invited to those. Now this might be a situation where we have to aim it downward and maybe try to get some... Oh, nope. That didn't work. I don't think there's an open... Bring my yeah, no, this ain't gonna work. That's a nice thought, but that ain't going to work that way. My little miracle, it's more than a grown bulk. How's that possible? Just talking to myself. I feel free to leave. Shit. And remember, don't eat the yellow snow. Good advice. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. And now I've dumped the crate. Great. Okay. Oh, poop. I tried. I wonder if that's like the national anthem of Poland. It's not like we hear it at any kind of like Olympic sporting events or anything because, you know. <laughs> Yo, damn! Did I just go there? Okay. Now I think we can get this situated again. Um, <clears throat> and the other issue is we can't... Ooh, hello. We can't build, like, tables and stuff on here. The devs really need to fix that. That just needs to be something that goes on the to-do list. Sitting. Favorite activity. There. Cool. Okay. So we can hang clothes and stuff on them. All right. Let's. Is it freaking evening? We used all day. We're day three here. definitely belong here. Uh-oh. This is facing the wrong way, isn't it? No, it's not. It's facing the right way. Cool. Whoops. Um, we need a plank gate. Maybe that should go here. And 
then I guess it should go on this side. And then here we go boom, 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 boom. All right, I think that'll do. All right, so we need a bunch of planks. And then we need 12 stones and six firewood, I think. So planks, stones, firewood. Uh, we may need a couple of logs, too. And then we need 12 stones. Okay. <laughs> so, right here in front, we'll do a fire pit like that cool and then hello Ugh. am I going to do any cooking shows Six more planks. So we don't need the logs. And then we need one more thing. We gotta do something here real quick before it hits midnight. So after midnight, we let it, we're gonna let it all hang out. Wait, what? Six more planks, right? Twenty-one thirty-four. Okay. Let me do this real quick. Got to scoop the poop. Cool. That. Tip jar, yes, we need a tip jar. That is not a lot of fertilizer, crap, so to speak. Um, okay. Cool. So this is the backstage area. You come on the stage, do dun 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 And then this wall could just extend up the whole width of the stage. The way um, the way they did theirs with um, let me think about this lighting. No, no. See, here's here's the problem. You can't build stuff on the stage 
Where's the... Oh, wait. I know where they are. Do I? Do I know where they are? Maybe I don't know where they are. Furniture and decorations. Miscellaneous workstations. Plants. Where's the... Um, the gate thingies. I mean, I know, obviously, they you would think they're going to be in gates, but... Oh, here they are. Yeah, I guess they are in gates. So, she they put one of these up. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, hang on. Now I know what to look for. Oh, where's my stupid bag hat? Um, and what time is it? Okay, it's about, we're about to be out of time. Um, I didn't get things centered, and that's okay. All right, so gates there. Yeah, so they did this number, and then made it really cool because they put like a trellis around and stuff like that. No. Problem is you can't get it that close to the foundation. So... So I think maybe I'll wind up redoing this and running it all the way over to here. And then maybe redo this wall from the front edge out to here. And then that kind of, you know, squares this off a little bit. And then maybe we'll set up like a bar station like right here. Like a table with drinks and stuff on it. That'd yeah, be pretty cool. All right. Gang, I just goofed my schedule up here. Because now it's spring. Uh-oh. Due, due to the bad mood of your villagers, productivity is down. No one wants to work. Try talking with them. Talk some sense into people. They're still a bit moody, but they're more, than will, more willing to work normally now. All villagers work 20% less efficient. Uh, the beatings will continue until morale improves. All right, let's see how old the boy Having is. Having a kid is not ex exhausting. <sighs> exhausting. Who told you that? <laughs> oh, we got another baby. Oh my God. Oh, oh no! Oh shite! We are well and truly screwed here, people. <laughs> Damn it! So, uh, Nayslawa just had her baby, and now two more bitches are knocked up. Chihuahua Slawa and Ewalda are knocked up. Frida is a month. She's one season in. Damn, that's going to freaking be a pain in the ass. Oh, boy. No, I what why do I need more houses? I mean, I'll have to build more houses when they grow up or something. Um the first what what are those this stage?
So we are going to be in a bit of a pickle here. Quit pairing them up. That, oh, damn it. That defeated the purpose of the village. And the whole point of the game is to develop dynasties. So it's better we get on with it early. And it'll be okay. We'll be all right. Because I can cook. Uh, Agnes is back in the uh, workshop. And I can do the farming. Okay. So I effectively have all three of these positions covered. Now, the lady who is Neslawa, she was in the herbalist hut. So that's okay. Uh, felt hat. should take care of us. Bam! Look out, kid. Okay. So, let's see how many people wander over here to the stage. I think we have to do some rebuild stuff here. Um, but I do like conceptually what we've got. I want to extend that wall out and then maybe go out that way extend this wall out and go that way right and you know what i think we'll put the bar on against this wall we'll do a table over here and put drinkware on it and then it'll look like it's a bar over here now someday somehow some way we may have, may get to the tavern i don't think it would fit in this space though we could take out this orchard and put the tavern right here i wouldn't be opposed to that it's going to be the same size as a storage building or this barn well, is the barn, the barn's, no, the barn's one thing. So the tavern so is this much wider than the barn. So we could move the barn. But yeah, there's our stage. I think that's a pretty good start. I got to um, cancel the work in the herbalist hut. Oh, wait, she's not in the herbalist hut. She was fishing. Yeah, two years. This is the point I was making earlier, okay, is that, damn, sewing hut's damaged. Wait. Oh. No, that's fine. All right, sewing hut's damaged. The hunting lodge damaged. Woodshed is damaged. No houses are damaged. That's good. Crap. I got a bunch of shite to fix here, don't I? Pigsty's damaged. Good lord. Okay, well... That's how this looks here. Not bad. Not too bad. Oh, shit. Of course. That's all right. Um, what's the issue? Fishing hut. Nobody, no worker assigned. Right. That's why I took, oh, it, it's still at 5%. Oops. I should fix that. There we go. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Trying to take a picture here. Dickhead. Okay, that'll do. Hit that, hit that, hit that, crop that, click that. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. Sure appreciate everyone hanging out <clears throat> for a Sunday fun day here on the channel. Uh, Valley S4, this is going to be 
intro 20. We're about to episode 20 of this series. And you know, I may well spend the next two days working on, uh, in fact, let me just quick save right there and we'll just do it right there. First off, got to fix the buildings in the village and then uh, redoing the stuff in the stage area. So, oh, damn, it's springtime. Oh, that's right. I played a full extra day. Oops. So. Well, it looks okay so far. Thank you. Um, but I've got a plan and we're going to work the plan. I'll, it'll look better next time. So, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. And uh, join us on Discord if you haven't as yet. Link in the description below as a, is a link to our PayPal. If you want to make a donation to help support the channel, paypal.me slash games. Link below. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. No bandits this time. That kind of sucks. We, I mean, we, we've had a plethora of bandits over the last three episodes. So I guess we were kind of due to have a quiet one. So we'll see how that works out next time. But uh, until then, I appreciate everyone being here and being part of the show. And I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.